Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of your favorite podcast, Frenemies. Frenemies. The only one you like. You told me yesterday you watch zero podcasts. I watch every podcast, so it's number one in your book. That's true. I don't watch podcasts. Do you watch us? I don't watch our own podcast back to you. <laughs> sometimes I do. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes I watch certain parts back to kind of like see if it hit or miss, you know? I just like to see what I look like. Like, am I fatter? Am I skinnier? Do so you watch the whole episode back to see if you're fat or skinny? No, I only watch like the first like 20 minutes. Yeah. If I have a moon face or not. I am very fat today. I know we're not talking about weight or anything, but I am very fat. Literally nothing fit me. I had this on today and this because Jesus. literally nothing fit me. Did you? Did you? I just saw <laughs> no, way too no, much. No, you didn't see anything. Did you oh see anything? Oh my God. I saw like oh my under God. boob and like. Uh, no, oh my God. There wasn't. That's bra, my belly. I think you uh, saw my belly. I no, you're Are not you wearing a bra? I exactly. <laughs> it's my How belly. I... It was my belly. This is a belly. A Jesus belly looks Christ. like a boob when you haven't seen a flubby one in a while. Anyways, sponsored today by. Today we are sponsored by Bright <laughs> Sellers and Honey. Honey. Oh, and really quickly, this Thursday is the last chance to be handsome Squidworth. We are bringing SpongeBob back, the ultimate Teddy Fresh collab. Uh, one last time. This is it. Red alert. Red alert, April 1st, 10 a.m. 10, am I speaking, am my words making sense? Yes. April 1st, 10 a.m. PST. Last chance to be, I had some Squidworth. This piece and more pieces. Squidward. <laughs> Squidworth. Yeah. Oh, it's Squidward? I thought it was Squidworth. Atty dog, Getty. Squidward, what? I mean, it's, it's my Hebrew SpongeBob that I listen to. Akadagetti? Akadagetti. I feel like we're nothing we're <laughs> saying makes sense. We're speaking like different languages. Akadagetti? That's Hebrew. It's my Hebrew, SpongeBob. Wait, what is that? That's Squidward? Yeah, we did a TikTok. We do Hebrew Squidward. Oh, Squidward is Akadagetti? I'm saying something in Hebrew to you. <laughs> Brad, this is the most confusing episode. Gary is the snail. I'm talking to the snail. Akadagetti? Oh, God. Okay. Last chance. <laughs> Teddy Fresh, follow Teddy Fresh on Instagram, April 1st, 10 a.m., last chance, last chance to be handsome, squid word. In Hebrew, it's spogbob? 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 Spogbob. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, oh, before we get into too much, because there's, in my opinion, a lot to talk about. You were as, as pumped. Two minutes before, you're like, I'm so excited about this show. Well, okay, so let me tell you what we're doing today. <laughs> we have arranged um, a whole... How oddly satisfying. There's this, like, it's a trend that existed before TikTok, but on TikTok, there's this whole thing of people, like, smashing their hands in the cake. I love it. Smishing shit and doing all this. Mm -hmm. So we are going to be doing that here today. Dan, cut to this camera. Look at this. Oh, it's not on. It's not on. (laughs) Don't cut to the camera yet. But we have our own cameras. We're going to be slapping cakes and slamming. I love it. Peeling skin. Some people find that oddly satisfying. Nobody finds that. They did. I had six million. Everyone's like, this is satisfying. Really? I should have saved some skin for us to peel. (laughs) I have. Actually, I wanted to ask you about that because it was so intense. On your your notes? Yeah, it's in my notes. Okay. But we had like a huge Passover family dinner while you were there and it was fun. But before we get into Mm -hmm. all that, I want to say... Because of all of the vlog squad and David stuff and all the essay, I th- or we thought it would be appropriate to start a fundraising campaign for Rain, which is the leading um, uh, charity organization for helping victims of essay and uh, abuse and all such things. I think it's great. I think it's fantastic. We already met our goal, so there's no pressure to donate. That's what we, so here's what, <laughs> we did a whole thing. Me I, me and Trisha each donated 10,000, except Trisha, I was like, you bitch. <laughs> she gave 10,100. I don't know why that's showing, because you said you did that too. It said for fees. I wasn't trying to upstage you, although hindsight I should have, I should have done like more, but <laughs> I, I, it said for fees, so like 10,000 went to the charity and then like fees were $100. And you said you did that, but it didn't show up mm, or what? To be honest, my accountant donated it, so I didn't so even. So she's probably like, no. She probably was like, no fees. <laughs> well, that's why it says that, but hey, I'm happy to donate a little more. But anyway, we each put 10,000 each and then we set the goal of, of 20,000 because like Trisha said, I don't want to be like expecting, but if you want to help donate, if you want to, you know, t- I like to turn this thing into a positive here of all these things happening. 
so and raising awareness. So I'm going to put this link in the description. So if you guys want to uh, donate, frenemies, team frenemies, let's go. And something funny to note is that me and Trisha, having put 10000 a apiece in, <laughs> we're already the number one team. And <laughs> guess who's number two? Miramax and Weinstein. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Like, I'm sorry, Weinstein. I think you're asking to pony up a little bit more. I think Miramax could pony yeah. up a little more than 20000 Like, I'm sorry, what? <laughs> Wait, what? Did, is, it, is that officially theirs or did someone set it up on behalf of, like, Miramax and the yeah. Weinsteins? Let's look. I'm hoping Who's it's not. Donate? <laughs> yeah, it's alumni. We and current employees of Miramax, Dimensions, and the Weinstein Company. I think they're just like, yeah, Weinstein, you know. People who still work for the company are like, let's also donate so we don't look horrible. Yes. Um. Well, Miramax should probably, Harvey Weinstein probably should donate something. I guess that'd be an admission of guilt, though. He's like, I didn't do anything wrong. Weinstein's I mean, like, what am I donating for? I don't think for? we did anything wrong, but, you know, we're here to help right. people. Yeah. That's a good, he should be. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> or like Quentin Tarantino. Well, well, Weinstein's, so like, well Weinstein's like, I'm pro essay. What? Why would I? I'm pro essay. <laughs> Who? Weinstein. I don't think he's. Oh, you're <laughs> just making that up? I thought he said that. He's like, why would I want to prevent that? I'm I think for that. People who like worked with him, like Uma Thurman and Quentin Tarantino, they should donate maybe because they made so much money off of. Oh, with Harvey that's Weinstein. such a good point. To our campaign. Yeah. <laughs> or the Miramax one. So it all was the same no, place. No, 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 no. Don't do it in Weinstein's name. Do it in our name. So okay. who are we calling out? <laughs> Quentin Tarantino. <laughs> Uma Thurman. I just think those are two. Quentin especially was so, worked so close. Oh, and I, uh, I love uh, Ben Affleck and Matt Damon, Goodwill Hunting. Mm -hmm. Let's pony up, friend me. We should do a Woody Allen one too. So like Mira Sovina and all those people like could like you know donate. Woody Allen, Diane Keaton definitely would not because she still stands by him. So I'm still so mad about it, even though I know that the happened. Woody Allen. Yeah, story, it makes bro, me so that mad. Was the sickest shit. And I came out of that so angry. I will never ever watch a Woody Allen. I, I'm going to be honest, Woody Allen's overrated. It's like, oh, neurotic Jew. It's like, that's the last thing I need in my life is another neurotic Jew out there representing me. I mean, I loved it because as someone who didn't know any Jews. <laughs> that's I thought it was so cool. That's when I first fell in love with Jewish people because I thought that was so cool. They had all these little ticks like I have. And I was like, oh, maybe I'm a Jew. Don't it, say I fell in love with Jewish people. <laughs> you couldn't say that about any other ethnic group. But I thought you're not an say ethnic. This. I thought you're a culture. Say this. I, that's when I fell in love with black people. Right, right, right. Okay. Good point. Doesn't sound right. <laughs> okay. I'll just say that's when I liked Woody Allen. Okay. Good. You're probably right about yeah, that. I am right. I'm trying to be more PC <laughs> for sure. Okay, good. I am. Yeah, I probably We love guess. that. We love PC. Because people, there, there is a, a string of TikTok that think I'm like racist. And I reach out to those people and I'm like, let me know what, what I'm doing that comes across that way because I need to stop and I need to like be the opposite because that's not me. And if I'm coming across that way in any way, I don't want to be that way. Oh, really? So I'm trying. I reached out to a couple creators and. What did they tell you? Um, One was just like that I don't speak out enough. And I agree with that. I think my issue was, okay, for instance, Addison Ray was on Jimmy Fallon and she did a bunch of these dances and like three fourths Let's of those Let's pull dances, that up because that shit was funny and well, weird. And, but the thing is, is I never spoke up. Oh, they're going to claim us, huh? Uh, Tonight Show? Yeah, for sure. No, they did. They did a uh, copy, like copy. They didn't do the right music. Like they did that, you know, copyright free. No, but free. the, the, the late show, show itself is gonna, will. Is going to get The us. late show itself. Yeah. yeah. Oh, sorry. Oh, my God. I just kicked Shredder. Sorry, Shredder. <laughs> Stop my dog. I know. I literally didn't see him. He's just right there. Um, no, but the reason I never like stu like said enough, I guess, like even during Black Lives Matter, I try to say what I could. I just never wanted to come across what like you, insincere. What you are know? you supposed to? You're supposed to call Addison Rae dancing on the Late Show. What is that? No. Well, I think when I've had opinions about something, I've been scared to talk Wait, about it. What did she do wrong? I think that there's a little bit, and I agree actually with this. So when I when I agree with something, I should like say it more. I just never want to be like the white knight in every situation where I'm just not, no pun intended on the white. Just like I don't want to be the person that always is like, like Anthony Padilla just has to stick up for, you know, everybody. However. <laughs> you don't need to say no pun intended on the white knight. Well, because I don't mean like I'm a Caucasian knight. I know, I, I know, meant I know. like it's a well, okay. it's a well known. Uh, well, saying. I don't want people to it's... think that I'm like, oh, I'm this. Okay. Well, um. <laughs> I don't know. Ew. Anyways, I'm sorry. I don't want that to come across insincere either. I talk to people and they're like, it would just help if you were more vocal. And I agree because there are certain things that I am, I do feel like strongly about with the Addison Ray thing. And I didn't say anything because I was like, oh, it's not really my Wait, place. Wait, what was want. the problem with Addison Ray? I still don't understand. So she did, which by the way, killed her performance of Obsessed. I actually really like her new song, Obsessed. I think she's really good. Her like dancing career, everything was great. 
she did a segment prior to that where Jimmy Fallon was like holding up signs of like popular dances like Corvette, Corvette, you know, like those mm-hmm. kind of dances. And she was supposed to do them. They did the same thing with Charlie about a year ago. Charlie also did these dances. Um, and they ended up giving credit to the creators in the description, I think after some uproar about it. But if three fourths of these dances are by like black TikTokers, black creators, like they should be the ones that get to perform this on these shows. And why is Charlie now Addison the ones that get to perform? Because Corvette uh, Corvette was, okay. you know, Flyboy, like Kiki, like, and I, and I, I'm only sticking up for this because I do think that's a really integral part. Like the people who come up with dances, like a lot of them are black renegade. Who were the three girls performing? Dixie, Charlie, and Addison. And like, that's just, it was just, it's just bullshit to the person who came okay, up with it. Okay, I see your point. Yeah, that and feels a little bit of a slide. I should more about it. I should have done, but I was I, so scared uh, to do a TikTok. But at the same TikTok. time, I yeah. don't think, I think you're right in that you don't need to champion every single cause. No, but this one I feel strongly about because I'm like, yeah, it would be but nice I, to show the people who created the dances. Right, dancing. and at the same time, you do make a hundred TikToks a day. So there's space in your schedule for it too. <laughs> well, and I thought, you know, I always, I always critique David for not talking, like doing apologizing on Twitter, not giving his biggest platforms. But since I think Brenda Means is my biggest platform, I was like, I, we should address this, that there is a little. So who are we giving a shout out? Do we need to credit the original? Do you know who they are? Yeah. Well, I just know off the top of my head, I know Flyboy. I know. Shout out Flyboy. <laughs> shout out. Let me get the, all of them. Well, they're in the description, but there is, oh, Kiki. Shout out. Uh, I follow. I follow them. We'll, we'll link them in the description. The Maya Nicole. Why why, why, is, why, is, why are they private? Why? Well, they are. They, they're not, though. But why would he make Fly his boy. account private? Maybe to get more people to follow. I don't know. Really? Anyway, I always find that odd. I just. You think- know what we're going to do? We're going to link these guys in the description. It's not going to be at the top. You're going to have to expand, but it's going to be it there. It should be more than that, though. Like, Jimmy Fallon linked them, and I'm like, Jimmy Fallon, you should have their big creators. What can I do? What more can I do? I mean, you guys can come dance on our show. <laughs> not that way. Oh, you want people to come do the... the <laughs> it's not the, the whip, same. The whip and nay No, but whatever. Jimmy Fallon, you know... Corvette, Corvette. It's just, it's just disheartening. Yeah. And I mean, honestly, I'm not going to lie. Like, and I, this is no hate to Addison or Charlie. It's like, they don't do the dances justice, really. Like the creators who started these dances, like kill it. Like, really? and as you can tell when Addison's doing it, she's doing Corvette, Corvette. Like the audience like doesn't know what to say. They're it's, like, uh. it's that bit doesn't belong in that because like the late <laughs> shows were like all that far to are watching TV. Like you have to be like over, let's say probably over 65 to enjoy Jimmy Fallon. Right. <laughs> so, so now you've got these young girls doing these Corvette, Corvette. <laughs> it's like, what? Okay. Whatever. Yeah. I, I just, I just never want to come across as insincere. I think that's why, like, even during like Walk Matter, I try to say what I can, but I just, I never want to come across like I'm doing it. I don't know. What do they call those? Like performance activists. I'm yeah. not that person, but I do like this one. I felt really strongly about. I was like, you know what? I should say something because I just, you know, sometimes staying silent is a little bit like being complicit. So you're right. They say, they say, uh, there's a saying like that that I can't recall. That I can't recall. <laughs> yeah. A really good one. Right. It's Dan, fun. help me out. What is it? <laughs> oh, 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 oh. I got it. I got it. Evil. Uh, when, oh, I got it. When mm-hmm. when the good men stand, evil wins when the good men stand by and say nothing. Google it. It's not, but do you see what I'm saying? Right. That's not the saying. It's obviously way more well stated. I've never heard that one. It's great. It was about the Holocaust. Oh, always that should throwing interest it back you. to the Jews, though. That should interest you. <laughs> Go ahead, Dan. What is it? Yep, you found it. That's the only thing necessary. Oh, my God, these pop-ups. The only thing necessary <laughs> for triumph of evil is for good men to do nothing. Now, that's a quote. Okay. Do we love that? We love it. Thank you. Are we, that's, are we good people in this? Yeah. Okay. You're we're triumphing over evil. Speaking of Jews, Passover yesterday with your family. Fun. So much fun. Honestly, so much fun. And I felt so Oh, wait, bad. wait, 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 wait. We're ahead of schedule. We're ahead of agenda. Wait. What? What? Hold on. Uh, we have something we want to present to you. <sighs> I love surprises. Is this a good one or a bad one? <laughs> um, you tell me. Is you, it scary? Ian, bring out the surprise. I love surprises. <laughs> Oh. This is a little oh. something to commemorate our 1.5 year anniversary oh. of meeting. Oh. Oh. Wait for it. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, I thought it was going to be a picture of us, but this is, um, oh my gosh. Wait, show it. Oh my gosh. Oh, 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 Jesus Christ. Are, are we not, no, it's censored, right? It's censored enough. Well, they'll tell us. Oh my gosh. This is amazing. You are printed up in the oh. New Yorker. <laughs> The culture page. We wanted to commemorate your achievement oh. of being an icon. Oh my! 
and one here of you <laughs> stuffing your face with a burger. I don't know why they put that. It's awesome. Yeah, it's in the contents. Oh, that's so nice. I would give you a hug, but we don't really hug. Don't hug me. I want to, but like, this is amazing. I'm going to put this in my office. Thank you, guys. Yeah. Oh, my God. And of course, it's bedazzled and everything, the frame. You're like David Dobrik minus the SA. You always are surprising me. Because he used to give people like Teslas. Oh, like, was giving me gifts. He would surprise you by, like... Like, gave me Hamilton tickets. And I was like, ah! Oh, he would do nice... Oh, he would do nice things. Minus the... Then after traumatizing Because I feel like what... The David... <laughs> yeah. The David Dobrik surprises were more, like, payoffs. I mean, for the record, right? Jason bought the tickets, not David. But it was for David's vlog. So, I guess he oh, never surprised a... me with anything. But they did that after, like, traumatizing Wait, I saw me. that... You guys went to Puerto Rico to see... Yeah, he paid $10,000 a ticket. It was for a fundraiser. Why like, you go to Puerto Rico to see... It was oh, because, for the relief. Because he's from Puerto Rico. Well, at the he's time, there was, like, hurricanes, so they were right, doing, like, right, hurricane right. relief, and so... Oh, that's a nice thing. Yeah, but Jason bought it, but he let David have the bit for his vlog, and he sent 20000 Anyways, I guess... Anyways, all I'm saying is, like, you're, like, David Dobrik surprising me with gifts, like, right. here's a Tesla, and I'm like, right. ah! Because you did the peeps... You did this? Yes. I feel like you've done so many I can't even keep up. Well, what can I say? We have we 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 pay attention here what on the show. Other ones? No, there's other good ones. I forget. I so can't. anyway, Thank it was you. I, this was something I thought it was that picture. I was so excited cuz this one this one also Well, we can do that too. <laughs> Where but, is this at? Where is this Okay, frame? so we were cleaning out our old office, which literally I don't even know why. We've been paying rent on it and we haven't even been in there in a year. So we're like, why are we paying cuz we bought you guys know we bought a new warehouse that we're going to build our set mm-hmm. and and everything. We're just waiting. We've been waiting because of COVID for the plans to get approved for like six months. So it's like just sitting there. It's so annoying. Um, but anyway, we have this office that we've been paying rent on for like a year that's been totally empty. So we were like, why are we doing that? So we cleared out this office. It's gone. It's done. Yeah, it's done. Aww. And we're moving all of the stuff into the new place. But we found we looked. This was the first time we met one like one and a half Aww. years ago. So skinny we were. Oh, my God. I kind of feel like. Yeah, definitely me and you were both skinny. I think I must have gained 50 pounds still. <laughs> Why were we so skinny? I guess quarantine. But it uh, is it's been, quarantine. You it's been a long quarantine. year and a half, hasn't it? <laughs> I mean, yeah. I was really depressed and miserable when I was there. So, you know, honestly. You were? Happy weight, I guess. Well, you know what? Mm-hmm. I was just It's just crazy how life comes at you fast. Yeah, yours was really sweet. I, that was so unlike you. I was like. I was so nice, but it felt like something I would, like, I think about. But it was just, yeah, because it just, it was just like, wow, you know, just, I mean, like, this is some some unexpected shit. I agree. And that's why I try and make amends with people that I have, like, beef with. Like, I tried to do another podcast with someone I had beef with, and I was thinking, this could be a beautiful friendship like ours. Oh, Hannah? Yeah, to Gabby is thinking, like, maybe this will be, like, you know, us. It's good good to see. You try, and then I was like, oh, no, massive failure. But (laughs) Really? But (laughs) sometimes you get a friendship, you get a fiancé, you get a family, you know, your whole family as part of the family Basically, you owe me everything. <laughs> a kind of, yeah, like, kind, honestly, kind of. No, and I'm also kidding. you're the only one. Like once you start talking about David, all of a sudden it's like everyone listen. Ethan is talking about David as opposed to me talking about David for two years about the same stuff. It's not anything groundbreaking. I was talking about those girls two years ago. I was talking about this, and no one really cared. So at least that brought to shame, light. I'm not saying you know? that in a bad way. I was like, at least I guess people listen. I a I do. I I agree. maybe I I maybe it is misogynist. I mean, for sure. When a man, I think I think it. I think people are just, they discredit you too easily. For or the, sure. the, the, I get the it. whole vlog squad just was on this crazy discredit campaign of you. Well, and I get it. That's why. That's and, you did, and you did drive your car high on meth. But no one knew that. Meth. That wasn't like a public thing. That was three oh, months I after everyone the knew event. That. No, it wasn't like I made that Because public. once you drive, I'm just with peace and love, once you drive <laughs> your car high on meth into someone's house, it's hard to take them seriously. Yeah, but that was three months after my first mental health. That was mental health hospital. So that was like, anyways, I get it. And that's another reason why I try not to like, put myself into situations because a lot of times people don't want Trisha Paytas defending them. They're like, oh, Trisha's trash. Please don't defend me. You know what I mean? So I try not to uh, white knight people if they don't want me to. I just No I, pun intended. I mean, that one I think is okay because I'm talking about general. <laughs> oh, yeah. Anyways. You so anyway, what I wrote was this photo was taken oh. 1.5 years ago, the first time I met Trisha Paytas in her studio, which, by the way, we had a great... The, oh, what, the one thing I always say about you is like, I think you were on the show twice. Mm-hmm. Before we made the podcast together. Mm-hmm. And each time was like a really good episode. Yeah, three times. It was the one right oh, before quarantine. Three? Remember like two days before quarantine? Right. We did that We're episode like, too. Right. Where we saw The Bachelors. I was like, oh, you guys are sabotaging me. Oh, yeah. And The Bachelor. I forgot. <laughs> so we did like two times. 
and then The Bachelor. But like every time we had you on, it was like so good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So entertaining. You were so, you were just such an entertaining, Uh like great guest. And I feel like, I feel like we had, I always felt like we had a good chemistry. I think probably because we're both like just very forthcoming and unfiltered in a way. <laughs> I, say fat. I was like, I don't think that's why we connected. I was like not even close to saying fat. <laughs> we said f- f- and I was like, he wants to say fat. Well, listen, I, I'm not, well, we, we are both fat. fat. No, we're we are skinny, skinny legends here. <laughs> I was 180 there. I remember I was on tour. I was like skinny. Look, how ha- You know why we look so happy? Because we were skinny. <laughs> and that was also before the interview. We took it before I remember. Oh, before not that tragedy it went struck. bad. Um, it was a little friction. But anyway, um, I said. There was no friction. Oh, okay. Yeah, a little. I was, I, I think I was like, yeah. Oh, here's a really mean comment. I should read that. Oh, with the top one? Yeah. But anyway. Yeah, people I hate say, that you're friends with me. I, they say, since then, she has become my sister-in-law, mm-hmm. soon to be, my partner in crime, and one of my best friends. Life is one strange mother lover. You're my only best friend right now, so I'm one of yours. You're my only. We pound it. We don't hug. I... It makes me sad, though, because you hugged Moses the other day, and it was the first time I saw that, and I was like, oh, well, because we don't it was hug. COVID. We've never hugged. Not even before COVID, we've well, never hugged. Well, I tried to hug you once, and you're like, don't touch me. <laughs> because that was so insincere, because we've never hugged. We don't need to and hug. And so then you were like, no, but I feel... I hugged Ela for the first time last night. It was amazing. Wait, we hugged? Me and Ela hugged. Oh, nice. And, like, she has gives really good hugs, actually. Like, you wouldn't think so. What I love being... I love them people. I'm Can just I saying, say I'm not something? Shaming, but you think she's a skinny, so you wouldn't think such good hugs. But, like, she went underneath and, like, brought in... It was a really good hug. I was like, wow. <laughs> I was really, like... Can I say something? Yeah. There are... I feel like there's two types of people in the world. People who analyze the hugs they receive <laughs> and the people who are fully unaware. <laughs> I don't... I never think about the quality of a hug. I always think about it. Like, I feel like if we were to hug, you'd give me a side hug. Like, you know how you just put, like, one arm around, like, a weird side well, so you don't be, touch no, because chest to chest? Guy, yeah, I'm not, trying to t- I'm not trying to go chest to chest. But that makes it uncomfortable for me because I'm not thinking somebody wants to touch my chest. Like, my dad doesn't do that either. He'll do, like, this weird, like, side thing. And I'm like, you can... Well, well, regardless, <laughs> I don't think about... Dan, do you think about quality of hugs? Um. Yeah, I guess I do. Yeah, really. I'm After quali- meeting someone, yeah, I'm a hug quality analyzer. Mm-hmm. Moses, you think about hug quality? Maybe it's just me. Uh, yeah. Oh, wait, 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 go ahead. Yeah, I try to avoid hugs altogether. What does that mean, though? You just hug Ethan. You were the one. He said as we were leaving, he's like, "I'm like, let's just go." He's like, "Let's say bye to Ethan." I'm like, "We'll say bye to him from across the counter." He's like, "No, I'm gonna go give him a hug." So you were the one that initiated the hug with Ethan. Right, but that's after COVID. They got vaccines. People feel more comfortable. Yeah. But yeah. why are you avoiding hugs? Because <laughs> a lot of times the other person's like perfume or stuff stays on you oh, for the you whole day. Oh, you scent thing. Water is pure. Water has no smell. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, I try to avoid. I just like hugging. Wait, and then Ian and Sam, I'm just trying to see if I'm the only freak here. Are you guys, do you guys analyze hug quality? No. 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 <laughs> okay, good. Sam? I do. Okay. We're sp- but see, uh, okay, she said, she said, Sam, Ian's girlfriend who's here, says she, some people give really cozy hugs. Yeah. So I guess. Half the room, it's split. It's like, you know, it's very interesting how some things are never spoken about. Like, I find this very much to be like, some people wipe their ass from the front and some from the back. And then the others don't know that even the whole, the other team exists at all. So hugging quality is like that. Yeah, the wiping thing is like, I don't get it. I actually wipe. I don't even want to say it. I actually wipe back to front. <laughs> That's how I wipe. But you're not supposed to because you because I don't have a vagina. I mean, I don't get infections <laughs> but in there. Why would you? Unless you're like, like, who, how I mean, sloppy do you have to be? <laughs> yeah, not like having it half out and like <laughs> yeah. wiping it. Out. I don't know. It's like, bleh. yeah, it's Anyways. like, OK, <laughs> if you can't handle your shit. <laughs> Um, yeah, but I, yeah. Pe- people act like I'm getting uh, like uh, peace and love. I'm sorry. This is gross, but I wipe back to front too. And people are like, act like I've got shit all over my balls. <laughs> yeah, that's I'm weird. like, what are know. you talking about? I'm not, I don't know. Like, dude. Well, I thought you were a bidet. I thought you were team bidet. Well, I, I went, uh, there was a day when I, before I ascended to this, to the great, <laughs> like the great throne that I'm on now, I used to wipe. Did you? <laughs> Yeah, they're used You've to, elevated. I've yeah, elevated. Yeah, your mom gave a double hug to me and Moses. She kind of went with both arms around us. It was really interesting because I was ready to go for like a full hug around her and she went with her other arm around Moses and me. I was like, okay. So rate the hugs you got. <laughs> Yesterday? Yeah. Um, I would say, uh, no, that's like, that's like, no. Okay, no, don't. Okay. <laughs> I think Moses' mom gives really good hugs. She's always hugs. Yeah. 
yeah she's your mom very did warm. too your mom your mom was very lively yesterday i loved yeah, her I'm i loved your you family guys. like i felt really bad i was like wow i was like i don't know if i was just i don't know what it was i felt should bad. i read this mean comment or do we not want bad okay. vibes because oh. sometimes i like me mean yeah. comments what is it what you see oh my god what, okay. is it bad i can't even read it I well don't know what it says. let's see what okay i'm reading i'm reading this mean comment because <laughs> Oh, oh, yeah, this one's mean. Here, let me read it before I show up. <laughs> well, I'm just not going to show it because I don't want to send a mob of people oh. after this person. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, this one's bad. <laughs> Let's not read it. Okay. <laughs> bitch. <laughs> Fucking bitch. I mean, <laughs> on the note of when people do give like hate comments like that, it's like, I've been I don't read it. that shit. I don't read that shit. I mean, I'm glad you guys have given Doesn't me multiple me. chances. The one blow, I remember you texted me right after. It was really bad. And I remember being like, oh my God, why is he texting me? Because I thought we would never talk again like that last, one of those well, last blowouts we had. And oh, I was really? like, oh, I really messed it up this time. And then you're like, I hope you're okay. And I was like, oh my God. Like I was so, I, that was like, so anyways. You, oh. Yeah. Yeah. You guys give multiple chances. You guys are forgiving people. And well, honestly, like it's good. Cause like. It's not like you killed my dog or anything. We just had a little bit of a fight. Yeah. Don't kill my dog. Then we'll have a problem. <laughs> yeah, I will. I haven't had um, <laughs> I haven't had an episode in a while, which is crazy, which is scary. Yesterday, I had a thought in my head to like sabotage everything for a minute. Not at here, not here, but like before I came, I was like, I'm going to sabotage everything. Sometimes I get in those modes. By it's just it. an intrusive thought. Probably. Uh, yeah, it's if, so if weird. You, if you have like a conscious thought of like, oh, I'm going to do it's That's just an intrusive thought. Mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Anyways. Um, so anyway, yeah. Passover with the family that's was amazing. I also want to per se that Passover at the family... We had a lot of photos and stuff. There's a lot of like, we're all vaccinated now. Yes. The major, I would say, um, every like almost everyone there is vaccinated. Yeah, and it was because they were in different states, or no, or just because you had the hookup. Because you know, you like you said, the person that works for you guys knows how to get the hookup. The vaccine. It's not a hookup. We're in. Well, my parents and all the old people got are fully vaccinated. <laughs> My br my brother in law oh, yeah. is a teacher. My brother is a teacher. I'm fat. You sent me a TikTok being like, "Here's an obese person getting oh, vaccinated." Yeah, that was so funny. I was so confused. You sent that, and I like, I was like, I didn't wasn't sending it to call you fat. I just thought it was funny. You literally, it was a funny was, where someone's like, "You can get the vaccination because you're, you know." Let me pull it up. <laughs> And then that was it. That was the end of no, our conversation. I was, it, like, oh. I was just trying to, I was just trying to share a funny TikTok with you. Like, God forbid. <laughs> Okay, I sent you this just because right. it was funny. I wasn't trying to call you fat. Why else would someone send this to you? Why else would you send this to anybody? Because, like, you share something funny with a friend. Did you share this with anybody in your family? I shared it in the chat I'm with the me. I'm the only fat person you know, so I, you sent this to me. Okay. All right, well, tell, here, let's watch it. Have you, have you signed up to get vaccinated yet? I have to do it under that link that you sent me. Well, we had one for Thousand Oaks, but... Or, whatever but we had one for well did you send your information to lena no we haven't done that yet well to... what the hell I know, I know what she'll sign up for you just send her your info and also you're fat so you qualify i'm kidding i'm just kidding because of the argument i'm sorry look who's talking i'm fucking mad you no you're not but the haircut doesn't do you any favors well i know trust me why don't you wear a beanie until it grows for a little bit because i don't care you think i look fat with no hair I don't think it's as well. you call me fat, so I'm just trying yeah, to reiterate. Yeah, yeah. yeah. we're Why both look, we're, we're both fat. I feel what like we should weigh ourselves to see who's fatter because I feel like that would give me some peace of mind. Well, to be totally <laughs> fair in this conversation, I am like six to seven inches taller than you. <laughs> so, enough. like, you know Good what I point, mean? Yeah. But you do have the massive. That's jobs. true. Mine are like thirty pounds. You could weigh them on a little grocery store scale. Look, we're we don't need to. We don't. Need, it's not a contest, <laughs> Trisha. We both should. It's be not a contest. It. It's for peace of mind to be like, okay, if we're equally fat, we can jab at each other. We're equally but fat. I don't know. You well, who do you think's fat? I don't know. I, I have no I'm, idea. I, I frankly think I for think I am. I think I'm two thirty right now for real. I need to really lose weight because literally nothing's fitting. I mean, not to turn into that, but like that's mm, I wonder, we need like a body, we need to, you know, what we need to do is do the body fat <laughs> index or like, what is it called? The weight fat index where yeah. the, it tells you how much of your body percentage is fat. Oh. So that's how you really oh. know. I don't. Wait, Dan, isn't that just based on height? <laughs> yeah. I think like we could calculate that ourselves right now. Body body mass index. My right? thighs yeah. definitely crush yours. Mine are three yeah, you times the size. Thighs. Why are they so big and yours are so skinny? Should we do that right now? Do you want to do? How do you do it? We, we get more in depth with measuring weights and stuff. 
Oh, so so maybe we'll do it next week, Ian, or do you think we're equipped to do it now? Well, there, I just search for a calculator. It looks. It, this I think one all just you just need, need is your, your height, height and weight. weight. Yeah, that's like a general rule. Let's not do it before we eat. Have an eating contest next week. We should get Jillian Michaels on here to train us. Don't you want to know what's the board? Okay, let's. I, no, but you're right. You're right. You are. Wait, like we six have a scale. We than have me. a no, scale. No, 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 no. I changed my mind. I changed no, my mind. No, let's do I'm it. I'm tapping out. Okay, you don't want to do it. We have a scale right there. We should cosplay as the two fatties from Hairspray. Did you ever see that movie? Mm -mm. Really? Look, can I show you? We would look so good as these characters. So can I talk you into this one, one more time or you're uncomfortable with it? I think I'm uncomfortable. <laughs> I think I might actually like try and unalive myself if we do this. Really? Yeah. Okay, let's not do it. Oh, let me watch this TikTok first. Are you Before talking about the old Hairspray or the new one? Um, Both. Okay. Wait. I want to show the TikTok that apparently upset you this weekend that I was sharing because I thought it was funny. Okay. This is us. Is it a picture of Divine? That's John Travolta. Huh? Oh, it is. It's John Travolta. Yeah, that's him in Hairspray. You, you never saw Hairspray? Oh, okay. No, I don't watch. I don't watch this shit. What do you watch? They lost me at Hairspray. Uh, all you do is play video games according to your family yesterday. They thought you would want to be nothing. <laughs> Not weaponizing, just saying. That's what my mom said, my <laughs> grandpa said once, because I used to want, because my family's annoying, and I, I mean, or like, for, I just like, you saw, I, like how they're obsessed with football, it's like, it's 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 embarrassing. Yeah. No. Like, I'm trying to put Theodore to sleep, and my dad's going, <laughs> at the top of his lungs, like he has no consideration you for anything. You do seem like you're adopted. That's. Like, 100%, like, not even, I don't see any similarities. I've always like, said that, but from? apparently, I do look like my mom, don't I? I don't see it. I don't, I was trying to see like your dad or your mom, and I literally couldn't see it. I was so confused. Like, I hey, listen, I'd be happy to be adopted. I think I'm adopted too. I think my Moroccan <laughs> is adopted. I think I've always I've always dreamed of having been adopted. It would explain a lot. No, your family's great. You're just so different than all of them. I was like, whoa. Oh yeah, what I was saying was I didn't want to say it for my families that like because my brother and my sister tried to make an effort to connect with my dad through this whole sports thing, which he's like weirdly obsessed with. Mm -hmm. And I think that there's the psychological explanation is that I didn't want to be like my dad. I didn't want to connect with my dad. Oh. And so I took up different hobbies and I mean, with peace and love, I like me and my dad are on good terms and everything. Just, yeah. That's like the psychological explanation. That's so interesting. Your dad was on two game shows though. So he's an icon. He told you about that? Yeah. God, embarrassing. No, I love it. I know. What game, wait, oh, what really? game shows? I asked him. He was a contestant on some stupid game shows. I, yeah, they weren't like any ones I recognized, but he said he won um, some kitchen knives. I'll tell you, I'll <laughs> tell you, he won a pair of kitchen not or like silverware set. Yeah. That it had like wooden handles and he fucking kept those like for 30 years. He would not He's throw proud. them away because he cherished them, but they're starting to rot. Like as a kid, I remember we were still using them. <laughs> I remember them so clearly because it's all he was allowed us to use because uh, he's so proud of it. Yeah. But they're starting to rot. It's made of wood. He and has it like, now? Still? No, no, no. Oh. My mom threw oh. that out. Uh, you know what it got me thinking is we should do, um, we should go on Family Feud. Your family versus my family. Because oh, <laughs> they did a celebrity one with people I have no idea who they Can are. Can we invite ourselves on that show? Yeah, for we sure. We could try to reach out. Yeah, I would do that. That'd be fucking epic. That would be fucking really good. That'd I wonder. Be so fun. I feel like my dad would be good. My sister would be good. I'm not sure my brother. Yeah, he would be was like good. a calculator yesterday. He's like, they're like, what's this in Celsius? He's like, do 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 do. No, because do, do. he's like, got like he's got more of a Rain Man brain than like a survey brain. <laughs> It could come in handy though for that. Because they go like, it's what's the what's the never would? What do people call having whoopee? <laughs> That's really one game I think. Oh, I see. What oh, but they're like top yeah. ten names for having whoopee. No, it's like we asked a hundred people on the street, what is something yeah. that you can get? I'm wet? in, Dan. Do you think we could get on that show? I mean, I don't watch it regularly, but um, wasn't like Ninja on that show? No, yeah, a thousand percent. My the guy, um, Angel, my friend Angel, who has my hair. He has a. You client. get us in. I'm in. Really. Dude, I don't it's know still, how to get on. Is it still uh, Steve Harvey that hosts um, it? I don't know if, I, it's if I don't get one of these looks from Steve Harvey, I need one of these it looks. It is still Steve Harvey. Oh, my God. You guys need to interact is with Steve Harvey. Is it still Steve Harvey? Harvey? Wait, yes. I made a video like I made a video a while ago <laughs> shitting on Steve Harvey for being a douche. <laughs> I love him. He's from Cleveland. I stand by Steve Harvey. I love him. Honestly, it'd be iconic. My mom was on Wheel of Fortune like three times. <laughs> wait, so. wait, 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 wait. Yeah. I have. I I'm made so a whole. Too. I win every game. Wait, I'm so hold on. Steve, I for Steve Harvey H3H3. I need to revisit this because. 
before we do, we're, uh, we should throw it a break. We're at oh, really? Oh, wow, really? We're a little over. Having too much fun over here, people. <laughs> All right. We'll be right back. <laughs> Bright Cellars is the wine service that helps you find wine you love while making wine more accessible to everybody. Bright Cellar is gives you a personalized test to find the best wine <laughs> suited for you. And you know what? You have access to wines from Italy, France, and even right here in California. Oh my God. The world at your fingertips. South alcohol. Africa, Portugal, and of mm-hmm. course, that's that's all of them listed. Plus, you can pretend you're a wine connoisseur because they give you little facts about wine so you can feel really smart and bougie when you're drinking. You wine. are going to be basically a, uh, som- is it a sommelier, I believe? You're going to get one of those cups. You They literally have little cups that they sniff it and they spit it out. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's you, that's you. That's you if you do. That right could sellers. be you if you stop playing. Um, you're about <laughs> to enter a whole fun, new, exciting world of wine, and it's going to be like you've been drinking wine for years, even if you haven't. Bright, you're going to get bright sellers pairings with crazy. Their crazy accurate algorithm that is gets it first. You put a microchip in your brain and analyze. And I'm just kidding. You love doing that. That's your joke. It's just funny. Yeah, it's like it. it's way over the top. Yeah. No. What's you not don't, a joke is it comes straight to okay, your door. Okay. Wait, no. Yeah. You don't. There's <laughs> no microchip in the brain needed. No. All you do is take a 30 second quiz, and you let the wine magic happen, and they'll pair you with six wine bottles that fit your taste profile. And if you don't like one perfectly. Send it back. They'll replace one for you. What? They're that sure. What? Yeah. They want to please. They aim to please at Bright Sellers. Mm, we love that. You know. I mean, what what better do you need than to spend a night with your loved one or your friends or whoever with a perfect bottle of wine that's paired just for your taste? You know what I'm saying? Is there any discounts for our listeners if they're listen, frenemies? Listen to this. Okay. We are giving, listen carefully, 50% off your first six that's bottles. That's five zero, half, 50%. I'm sorry, what? Yeah, that's crazy. I, I heard they're running out of grapes with a deal like this. Oh, the grapes are going to be gone. <laughs> Six bottles for 50% off by going to the link in the bio, brightsellers.com slash frenemies. That's Bright Sellers. They're making me spell sellers. Wow. C-E-L-L-A-R-S dot com. Y'all know how to spell sellers. Brightsellers.com <laughs> slash frenemies. You support the show <laughs> and you get wine. Brightsellers.com. Slash frenemies, and you take only seven question quiz. You get matched the perfect wine, and you receive fifty percent off your first six bottles. Come on, forget about it. And you get your wine passport. Get a wine passport so you can travel to Mars and drink my wine on Mars. You're kidding. That's a joke. It's so crazy. (laughs) (laughs) And try wine from all over the world. By heading to brightsellers.com slash and frenemies, fifty percent off your first. Bright Sellers box, links in the description. Thank you. Please support the show by supporting Bright Sellers. Bus. Shout Honey! out. To- I was going to start this. Oh, go ahead. Shout out to our sponsor of the show, Honey. A proud sponsor to sponsor that I use all the time without all the even time. having to think about it. It's free to download. No two easy steps. You save money for Bada boom, online. bada bang, forget if about it. If you're not it. using Honey, you're doing a disservice to yourself and your wallet. Wow. We, and we all shop online. Like, come on, who's going to the stores these days? Are you kidding me? You yeah. go into the store, you you don't even have to clip coupons. The coupons, they're online just waiting for you to be harvested by honey, this unthinking machine of saving. It <laughs> saves and it saves and you can never stop it. It's honey. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Too much? So- Listen, honey is, it, this is what honey does. When you go to check out at one of your favorite stores, and trust me, one of your favorite stores are on Honey. That's over 30,000 stores online, ranging from tech, gaming, fashion, food delivery. So when you go to check out, Honey searches the whole internet automatically for the best coupon code that's going to save you the most money. Boom. It's free. It takes two clicks. You open it out of the browser extension. You click it. It installs immediately. There's no catch. It's really, it's nothing more than just magic, money, saving, life hacks. Set it and forget it. The crockpot of the internet. Oh, couldn't have said it better. Yeah. Imagine you're shopping at one of your favorite sites. Put yourself there. Just ma- meditate. Mm-hmm. Okay? Sephora. You're checking out. Mm-hmm. The honey button drops down. All you have to do is click apply coupon. Are you there? Yeah, for sure. Okay. You wait a few seconds as Honey searches for coupons. Uh, 
it found one for that site. You imagining this? Mm-hmm. Honey found the coupon and now the price has dropped. Wow. It's that simple. Wow. Honey is God. Yeah. Is Join honey.com yeah. slash frenemies if you want to download and support the show, which you should be doing anyways with honey, but hey, why not support our show? So this, this is the part I have to read. Okay. If you don't already have honey, you're straight up missing out on free savings. It's literally free and installs in a few seconds. And by getting it, you're going to be doing yourself a solid and supporting this podcast. Thank you very much. I'd never recommend something I don't use. They make me say that, which is a little odd, but it's true. I genuinely use honey. Yeah. Bible. I genuinely do. Oh, it's on all my browsers. Hand to God. Hand to God. From my mouth, the God's <laughs> fucking, he's listening. I know he is. God's like, that one's true. That one is true. Get honey for free at joinhoney.com slash frenemies. That's joinhoney.com slash frenemies. Should we harmonize it? Join. Hun- Are you high or low? Wait, I'll go. Um, I'm okay. hi- I'm low, right? I'll, I'll go high. Okay. Okay, ready? Joinhoney.com slash frenemies. Sounds pretty good. Yeah, bad. Okay. So, if we do Family Feud, I want one of these looks from Steve Harvey. You'll definitely get those. I love when we have, like, outside people interacting with That's us. That's his whole bit. Yeah. At least but it's funny. At least he doesn't, like, kiss you on the mouth. You remember, or like, no, Richard Dawson? Like this. That's no. good. That was a pretty good impression. <laughs> That's I mean, what he does. Yeah, when he someone gives a, little... a dumb answer, all he does, he puts the... F- and he goes... <laughs> That's all he does. I like it. That it's can, funny. That's probably your future is hosting Family Feud. <laughs> Fucking kill me. For sure. I could see you doing that. No, I'm retiring. <laughs> no, you'll host like a thousand dollar pyramid, like one of those things, you know. Uh, that's you. That's and then, good. And then and, you and, know what and, else and, I can see is is Ethan for sure hosting like a pageant of some kind and announcing the wrong oh, no, winner like no, he did. No. You think I'll fu- oh the wrong Miss Universe? <laughs> yeah, you remember that? Of course. <laughs> they don't like, and I'm saying this as someone who's also your weight, they don't like heavy people hosting those kind of things. They like to have slim. Even if slim well, does not Jim equal attractive. Are, well, hold on. We're, we have some fat hosts. Drew Carey lost weight before he hosted it. Right. They're like, dude, we're going to need you to lose some weight. Everybody, even Jimmy Kimmel lost weight like before he they're hosted. Like, they're like, listen, <laughs> in general, people don't like fat people. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> that's really crazy. But no, that's like one hatred. I mean, there's so many hatreds I don't get. I don't want to say that's the one hatred I don't get. But it's like, why do people hate people that are fat because if you're not think, fat? Because they think they're lazy and have no self-control. Well, how would that, that affect anyone? It's not like I look at someone that's like broke and I'm like, oh my God, you're so pathetic. Not, it doesn't affect me. Like, No, I'm not saying it's true. I'm just saying I see that conveyed all the time. I probably even said stuff like that in the past. To you be think honest. they're like lazy? I don't know. I just think it's like... It's such a weird But there, thing. there's this whole thing. I hear people, even people I really like that I listen to all the time, like Howard Stern, it always goes on and on about how, just put down the fork, fatty. You know what I mean? Oh, well, I hate that. that. That's yeah. like so like, because it's a psychological thing. Like, honestly, if I could be 100 pounds, I would. But obviously there's something like. Yeah. Hello. I'd oh. love to be a skinny legend. Can I watch this fucking TikTok, please? <laughs> all right. Here it is. I'm not an essential worker. Um, hmm. Okay. How do I say this? Um, the, what does this mean? What is that? What is that? Well, it's, um, there's a certain thing. Okay. If you hit it, <laughs> you can, you, you can get, you can get it. Um, has to do with, um, mm, mm-hmm. all right. Well, when you figure it out, you let me know. <laughs> I want that vaccine. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Did you I hear that by May 1st, we should all be eligible for the that's vaccine? That's literally me, though. I mean, I, I'm down. I can go get it. I need to go get it. I have pre-existing Just condition. I all, want to Literally, that. all you have to do. Okay, I will. I will do it. Did you send me it in the... Bro, of course I did. And Moses, you have it, so you're responsible for this shit. He'll be not the first person to be responsible. I'll be more responsible with this. Well, because... So entertainment is considered essential... Essential right. service. And fat, I'm going to die soon. And fat is like, ooh. Honestly, I hate when people say that. It's like, oh, like eating fast food takes 10 years off your life. I'm more than happy to have 10 years off That's my life. That's an easy exchange. I have a belly full of nuggets when I die. And I'm really happy. <laughs> bury me in a nut, bury it with a belly full of nuggets. Seriously, you know how. To, okay. That's funny. Maybe because I just a, love. That's good. Maybe because I like love food, but honestly, like, I don't understand people like, like they say Jennifer Anderson hasn't had like any carbs or cheeses for like 10 years. It's okay. Go like, pitch. Huh. Die sad. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, die sad, carbless. What quality of you life carbless. is that? Hey, no, honestly, I that's... gets me angry that she doesn't eat pizza. 
That's crazy to me. That's crazy to me that people like don't eat pizza. But it's like, yeah, what like oh people who are so fit, like that are like, you know, you see them on Instagram and TikTok and they're like it's like, okay, yeah, they look good, but you know they suffer. But you know, some people don't enjoy eating, I don't think. There's some people that like Hila doesn't like eating. Right. So um, amazing. I wish that was me. But I think it's just because we like love eating, just like some people love spending or doing drugs or whatever it is. Like I would yeah. I kind of wish I didn't love eating so much. Like, yeah. That would like make my life so less complicated. Oh, I know. Like if you didn't enjoy it, you just did it because you had to eat, that would be amazing. But that's a that's a but honestly, I was thinking about this, right? Like some of these people, right? Like the David Dobricks of the world and stuff like that. I'm like, why are they so stupid? Why do they do this stuff? Like humiliate people, trying, like that's what they get off on. If getting that's off true. on pizza well, is you know what I learned about healthier. David? Last week we we're having a whole conversation about like what is his sexuality? Yeah. We're like, is he gay? He doesn't seem interested in sex at all. Yeah. Did you tell me that he was like a cuck? No. Okay, so somebody sent me a link and I watched it of from the podcast. Maybe, maybe Ian, you can find it real fast. I don't remember where it was. I don't want to kink shame him. I don't think there's anything wrong with this at all. But I thought it was just interesting because it's just to analyze his character. Right. If you if you're into like cuckold or whatever it is, I'm not saying I'm not shaming you at all. I mean, God bless you know. What was he doing? Let though? that let that bull ride your wife to fucking all the way to Valhalla and back. He loved it. So he said they were having a conversation on the podcast, and I'm and, and I'm comfortable saying this because I listened to it with my own ears. <laughs> he says that he would love to watch his significant other have sex with somebody else, mm. and then they're mm. like, "With a big dick or a small dick?" He's like, "Well, a big dick, obviously, because you know you want her to enjoy what? herself." That's I heard that. So yeah. so he's so I learned that he's actually a voyeur. He's a viewer, well, and he even said, "I remember he even." Yeah. S- you got it? <gasps> yeah. Yes! You right. got to hear this. Because he says, <laughs> and then he goes on to say, I don't like having sex. It's too much work. I'd rather watch. Okay. I get that. No, but it's, it explains so for much. For sure. For sure. About like, it, and, 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 even, and even weird because it's almost cast this voyeuristic aspect to a lot of the weird sexual stuff that goes on in his vlogs. I mean, he literally Would you have in a shower. <laughs> When I was yeah, having sure, sex, like, right, no, right. Like, really, like, you'd be there's down a to compilation of him sure, being in my house. Like he would just be in my house when we got home to scare me. Like he was in my house all the time. Like so, doesn't it make that? I think it, yeah. it makes it more. Let's say um, disturbing. It's more like um, um, invasive. Yeah, and that's when true. he's getting some kind of pleasure from it, right? Which. I'm speculating, but listen to this clip. Well, if he says it, you're not speculating. If he says, I like to watch well, people I'm, with my what girlfriend. I'm, what I'm speculating is I don't know if he was necessarily getting doing that in your house. But listen to this clip, okay? It's kind of interesting. Would you ever want to have a threesome? Yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> Wait, really? You'd be down to do one with me? Oh, with you? <laughs> <laughs> of wait, wait, look at the graph. Yeah. Wait, wait, look uh, at the graphic. It's like him with you and Ilya. Would you would you let another man have sex with your girlfriend in front of you? Ooh, good question. I would say no. No to that one. I yeah, I've that. I've seen that porno before, but yeah. Oh. Uh, I would say yeah. I would say yeah too. Totally yeah. 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 No, are you afraid you? I'd be afraid I wouldn't be able to come back from it. I think that is like a very like it's a very looked down upon thing in the community of having sex community. Dave, I in the community of relationships, we, it's a very looked down. We, upon we were thing. laying down on your bed like two years ago, and like I had this random thought. I was like, man, I would love to watch my girlfriend get fucked. And you're like, oh my god, thank God you said that. I thought, <laughs> that, was, I thought it was so weird. I mean, yeah, there's something yeah. about it. Yeah, it's like because it, it takes. Okay, first of all, having sex takes a lot of work, so it takes that out. So now you can just lay there and you're still kind of having sex, but you're just kind of watching. It's the best. I feel like it's so much better. I I love watching. I prefer watching than like, like, like actually doing it. What if the guy is like a big cock and then perfect. Yeah. I'd rather the next day. She's like, I don't want my girlfriend uh, to be having sex with like a lame guy. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Or a friend. A stranger uh, or a friend? A stranger. A uh, probably stranger. Yeah. Yeah. So again, not to, not kink shaming at all. I mean, God bless. But it it's interesting because I was always like, what is the deal with this guy? He doesn't seem necessarily gay, but he's not sexual at mm-hmm. all. You think he's like an asexual? No, like, I don't think he's asexual. I think he wants. He just he, he likes to watch. He's a voyeur. 
which makes everything else just like 10 times more disturbing though. Like him asking questions to that 17 year old about having sex and stuff. It's like, ooh, like why are you doing this? Peeking in the room and hiding in your bathroom and listening to you guys have sex. I mean, he's very disturbing on so many levels. I feel like he's had some trauma or something. I don't know, something bad maybe happened to him. I don't know. He's, it's sad. Anyway, not to direct, I mean, yeah. I I don't, I'm not, I, I don't, sorry if this seems like I'm unnecessarily dragging him. I just thought that was an interesting peek into his psyche of a continuation of the conversation oh you're having. Yeah. He's, um, it's so funny. Everything about David now, I'm just like exhausted thinking about it. I'm just like, oh my God, it's so much. Like God, we have so much to do here. Do you want, I have chemical peeling. Let's just do it all. Should let's we, let's give him off. Little Nas. Lil Nas X, you see his new music video? Yeah. You're totally fine with it. I feel like you would. You consider yourself atheist or just non Wait, you have a problem with his? I was just wondering if you saw it. I'm not having a problem. Yeah, I saw it. And you have no problem with it? Of course, no problem. Some things, and even if I, like, I'm not even, like, super religious or anything like that, but there's something so, like, whenever something, like, satanic is involved, like, there's this guy that here by Jay, for instance, is, like, Santa, I'm saying it wrong, like, Santeria or something like that, where it's, like, they sacrifice chickens and, like, anything sacrificial, anything devil, like, related, it just feels bad. And I'm, like, not religious. Because you but, like, grew up Christian, so you have a little bit of a... No, but, yeah, but, like, I can have sex with no guilt. I can, you know, there's so many things I can do with no guilt, like, that, you know, the Christian you religion. You think you're just please. superstitious or something? I don't know. I hate, like, I don't listen to, like, Lady Gaga or Beyonce because they have a lot of, like, Illuminati and stuff like that. But the little Nas one was, like, extremely, I don't know. Because he's, I think the whole thing is a parody about how everyone's saying he's going to hell because he's gay. So right. he's, he's like, yeah, I'll go to hell and I'll fuck the devil while I'm down there. I thought it was great. I just feel like I, I get really weird out about, like, not necessarily Illuminati, but Illuminati, like, does demonic what shit is- on Earth. Illuminati does. I uh, you know who is I that think demonic? Isn't the Illuminati just a secret organization? Yeah, but it's like making a deal with the devil. Jesus, that's the devil coming out. That scared me the, so much. I don't think the devil's part of the Illuminati. Yeah, that's what it is. It's all about Allah, like no God, like Ella. Ella is no God. When they say under my umbrella, Ella. Well, I'm not singing it. Oop, take well, it back. If, wait, if there's no God, that means there's no devil. Um, if there's no. Oh, I mean, I'm not saying I don't believe in God or like some higher thing. I'm just whoa, saying. Whoa, whoa, like, whoa. Illuminati is not a satan, right? Can someone fact check that? <laughs> well, I, I don't think the Illuminati conspiracy theories are really a monolith. Uh, the, you know, people attribute all kinds okay, of things to point. Illuminati. So Right. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, uh, yeah, I'm sure there's lots like of people the that say video. it's uh, like religious. It. You loved it. I didn't love it. I you thought, like it? Well, I, I like Little Nas X. I, I'm a fan of his, and his music videos are always like, uh, like super creative and and really like the last one he did the christmas one was like crazy awesome i love Nike that he disavowed one. his shoes because they have no collaboration with him but he has the the devil worshiping star wait on he top didn't of it. wait he didn't do those with nike no, they came out and said we have no he, but he has the nike swish on it oh what yeah. Wait, what the fuck yeah i thought it was odd that nike wait. would agree to put a drop of blood wait it was just a parody is it not a real shoe it's a real shoe that he's selling but not with nike he bought what? Bunch of Nikes. The, he's gonna get sued Bro, you can't do that i, know, do I just that. came out today and i was just like okay thank god because i was like let me fact check. Yeah, you no, better fact check that. I saw it. I Something saw it doesn't three times. Ian's got something to say. Ian, are you... Like, there's, like, art collectives that, like, modifies shoes and resells them. An art collective oh. that modifies shoes and resells them. So do they need... So is that, like, a... If it's considered art, oh. then you might be able to get a pass. So they buy these Nikes retail, and then they, like customize them yeah. and but then he, resell that must them. mean okay. he's not mass selling them if they're considered yeah it sounds art. like it's like a boutique like thing. there's like maybe like a few of them oh okay 666 oh i think you can do okay. that then yeah that's different that's but so i was like i was like wow nike allowed to put a no. drop of blood in the soul and that's also just like not sanitary i know the devil <laughs> is real though i know there's like devil shit on this earth and not to, I won't get into it, but I saw one of my friends, like, literally saw his little devil and it scared the shit out of me because he, like, changed completely. And I was like, oh, my God. Like, literally, like, listening to this person, you're just like, oh, my God. This person, like, literally something demonic is happening with them. Hmm. And I really believe that because this person was, like, par- like a perfect in every way, like, so sympathetic, everything. And then the minute, like, there was, like, a something, a switch, I was just like, holy shit. I think there's some demonic shit happening here. And it's scary. And it's real. Well, and it scares me. It, like, makes me sick t- talking about it. I'm like, but you brought it up. You're I know. Me, like, I think because like I start talking about it and well, I start feeling it. My my opinion on all that is that I'm not a superstitious person, and I think that the belief in the satanic and the angelic and all this is stems. I think it has a lot to do with with uh, superstition and OCD because it's like. You go, oh, I have to say my Hail Marys, otherwise I'm going to fuck whatever. I don't know oh. how it works. But it's like, it's all very ritualistic and superstitious. And superstition is connected to OCD because you get this thing of like, 
I'm going to something bad is going to happen or something's good is going to happen if I do this. I hear demon voices. I know they're real. I know demons are real. Uh, real quick update. <laughs> Sorry, <Break>. Dan. <laughs> In time uh, for you just go well, it's, Dan. it's relevant. Uh, okay. uh, Nike is suing them over this shoe. Oh, mm-hmm. shit. You don't want to get sued by Nike. Why would you put satanic and human blood on a Nike product? I thought it was Nike. I was like, what the hell? Like, that's so messed up. Bruh. Mm-hmm. Nike is, Nike is not suing someone mis- you want to sue. Mischief, as I'm assuming the... Um, what do you call it? The our collective that Ian was talking about that, that is made not going to end well for them. <laughs> they actually did this before with the Jesus shoe. Uh, Ian is saying that they made a Ju- they made a Jesus well, shoe once upon water. a time where they put holy water. Oh, in Oh, and was Nike cool with that? I don't think. I don't think. Oh, so like Nike's like cool with the holy water. They're cool with the angel stuff, but not, stuff, down but not with the Satan. Satan. I mean, that's racism. <laughs> no, but Satan is real. <laughs> it's racism proof. against demons. But who yeah. says Satan's evil? Don't like like well, it's propaganda, right? Like, let's say the Nazis won, then we would all think like, oh, the Nazis are the good guys. Like, who's to say Satan's really the bad guy? Don't you believe in? He's but definitely don't, the bad but guy. Don't you believe in yin and yang and the po- equal powers? It's like Satan and devil are to, they coexist together. Through, that's like the balance of nature. Right. <laughs> like, but they're real. Like, I don't know what you're trying to argue. Well, you, well, what's wrong with Satan? Like, it's like when you look, when you look at the Christian God, it's like they say no sex, no drugs, no fucking this. It's that. It's like hell's a fucking popping off party, dude. It sounds like Satan's like, He's like popping off down there. I'm not someone there's who's like to fear. convinced there's heaven, there's hell. Like I'm not someone like that. All I know is there's demons and evil like spirits here on earth. Like I've heard them. You think I've evil seen them? Spirits? Like I've heard. I've had conversations with them. Like it's really, really scary. I've seen people go to that side. Like it's been really, really scary. And they look like regular people, like whatever. Mm. But they're something that like possesses them. That's like truly evil, and it's like really, really scary. I'm, and I think you just never. I was trying to help. I'm just trying to help. Ra- I think I was trying to help. Help rationalize what? what part to be less scared of demons and shit i'm not scared of them now that i hear them like i talk to someone about it now that i hear them i'm not so scared of them it's more like recognizing that those are demon voices and not good voices because they sound like good voice they sound like just regular voices in your head like oh this hmm. this this. so when they say oh there's a window like jump out of it like it sounds to me it sounds like my voice and it sounds personally rational it's like well that window's open for a reason like, why wouldn't you just jump out of that right now? So it's like those kind of voices and recognizing that there there's some demonic things going on that like I can't really control those or like some other voices coming to me like that's are you like, in therapy about these things yeah it's like because i thought i thought i was schizo i don't you know i don't like maybe i'm a paranoid schizophrenic like i don't know like that's the only thing that voices are tied to really and so I hear them like so often and like you really like not being able to recognize that they're demons or just denying that they're demons is like a really scary and dangerous thing for me. Like if I thought that was were my voices, I would just go ahead and listen to them, which I have in the past. So, um, yeah, it's pretty scary. And it's not it's a non-religious. Um, he's actually like he does a lot of like activism for like gay wait, rights. and wait, stuff. And who are you religious. talking to about this? Um, I have a therapist that I have to. And they tell you that it's a demon voice? Mm, they don't say demon so much, but those are just like these like irrational. It's like intrusive voice. thoughts. Yeah, mm-hmm. I get it. Okay. And but they're not my thoughts. Right. So I've had thoughts. I know exactly what you mean. Okay. So what like, do you call them? Like, intrusive thoughts is okay, the clinical I say expression. Demonic, but... Well, I just wanted to make sure that you weren't talking to they're a therapist demons. who was In... like, Don't the demons are real. <laughs> no, he's very not that. He's very okay, like good. gay right. You rights. see him every week? Uh, I zoom. I do zooms with him. Every week? more sometimes it just good, depends good, how often good, it good. happens good. but um it's more no. when it happens because i don't know like i don't talk to my family i don't really talk to most i don't talk to anyone about it because it's like really like scary no yeah i totally understand. i don't want people to also think i'm crazy but i just know like good i'm just happy you're talking to someone that's really for important. sure i think it's helped like so much because i've had problem back when i was like super depressed and anxious but i had lots of intrusive thoughts and they would like it fucks it really can fuck you up because you're like in the constant battle with yourself of like what do I feel? Is this me? Why did I think that? Stuff like that. You yeah. Know? It's really scary. Because like I never had those before. Like up until like a few years ago, I never had them. Hmm. And then they kind of went away for a little bit. And now they're like back in full force, which is so weird because I'm like so happy. Like I really hmm. am so happy in life. So it's like so odd that those voices come up. You're just like, what the heck? Um, if I was your therapist, I would probably <laughs> just say because there's part of you that wants to sabotage your... Right your good condition right now well it feels good like i said like denouncing things in my life like a lot of times if i felt evil presences i would just keep going with them and like being able to like denounce and like clear myself of any evil around me it feels really good Hmm. so would it help if we got the holy water little nas holy water shoes to wear 
I would prefer if I did not see Little Nas. I put not interested on TikTok and they keep showing me his TikToks and I think that is the Illuminati. Dude, I fucking... Don't no, show me no, shit. No. Dude, TikTok is driving me crazy <laughs> lately because I... Re so I get these animal abuse videos on my homepage, like literally like animals dying and being maimed oh and like God. attacking. And I always report it. And these are videos with like lots of views and likes. And I'm like, this is disgusting. Why is this on the platform? And I report it for animal cruelty and I swear to God, they showed to me more. Because I do that. Because, like, it's like I don't want to see it. I, I immediately report it for animal cruelty, and they keep fucking showing it to me. I'm going to say something that you probably won't agree with, but I think it's because you watched, viewed, and appreciated Little Nas X's video. You accepted the devil into you. You were like, and okay. so I'm getting. I think I've been getting these videos before his you video came out. You don't think that's out. the devil animal abuse? You don't think that's. I, got, I was getting these before his video came out. I think you're seeing them this more because a, it, you've accepted th th it. Th this is an issue that's been happening before Little Nas video came out. Because Little Nas video just came out. And what do you think about animal abuse? Don't you think that's the devil? What do you think that is? You think that's just like, oh, that sucks? <laughs> well, I think there's innate... Uh, there, humans are capable of being cruel, of course. Not humans. Demons. Well, I guess humans can both be demons and angels at times, right? I'm an angel. Yeah. <laughs> You're an angel. You kind of saved me. I mean, ask James Charles if I'm an angel. I doubt he would say that. Maybe. But, but if I was a 16-year-old boy, he might think I'm an angel. You think he doesn't like you because of your age? Oh, he'd like me a lot more if I was younger. Really? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, I'm okay. Yeah. Did you see how I sent him an armpit, <laughs> armpit pic on yeah, After Dark? Why? Why, did, why was that? Because he has this phone number. He has a fucking phone number on his Instagram for fans to text him and he goes hi sisters thanks for calling my thing i could text you all special promotions and i might even send you some selfies and we were like ah and i know that he's into armpit hair wait when did that come oh out? he asked the 16 year old kid or oh. one of these boys to send mm -hmm. him a picture of his armpit oh i mean that's king shaming maybe he just oh well if it's a well it's a yeah. fucking yeah you and king shaming okay. we can body shame and king shame yeah, we he's, can, he's a p word so i i sent him a picture of uh <laughs> of my armpit i was wondering if maybe Did he, he respond? respond let's see what are those numbers for i always see people be like call me here you text so many people it's so exciting. that's what i sent him with a heart oh my god you have no armpit hair what the heck well i no i wanted to make it look like kind of a young few yeah do you have armpit hair yeah, I have armpit hair, but I didn't want him to see it because I want him to think I was young. Mm. I don't think that looks like young skin. I know. I'm Maybe you should have gotten like Ian or something to do it. <laughs> yeah, he definitely. He knew How old are you? 35. Wow. That's crazy. I what? don't know you're so much older than me. <laughs> well, aren't you like 30? 32. <laughs> oh. <laughs> So you're old as fuck. Actually, I'm so happy that we're close in age because usually people on YouTube are like so much younger than yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, And I feel like, well, Ela's 32. So it's yeah. like, I feel like we're, we're, we're contemporary. YouTubers. We're contem contemporaries. Is that what, really? Yeah, we're, we're from the same generation. Well, I feel like all those, like the Philip DeFranco, he was first generation YouTuber. I feel like all first generation. Were you first generation? <laughs> no, 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 no. Really? No, no. When did you start? I came, dude, Philip was like, no, I was, I was like, Philip. Th I came, I came like, PewDiePie was like, uh, I came oh. like right as monetization started. Oh. I was doing YouTube four years before monetization started. I was like. That's real shit. That's OG 2006. shit. 2006. 2006. Yeah, 17 or 18. Okay. Do you uh, want to, so. Can we get the McDonald's cake? I was going to, I was going to put it on my Instagram. That's not real. How it's much? real. It's at the party places. Can someone please find that for next week? So if you go to a place where they have the party palaces, like the Wait, ball pit. Wasn't that disproven that the McDonald's cake. They have them at the places that have the party, party places. But those are all, really? Yeah, there was one. We saw one. A in nine dollar. So there's, Ian, you got something to say? No. Oh. <laughs> Do you have it? Up. Okay, because okay. That, on TikTok, there's this whole myth about the $9 uh, McDonald's cake. It looks so good. I, but I, I saw it. so many people going. No, it's real. I saw someone And they're one. like, stop asking for the cake. Oh, Nobody. wait, really? Yeah. <laughs> no, I didn't see it. Okay, one other, one other request. Mm -hmm. Okay, what if we do our next costume episode? What if we go ice skating and we're like Nancy Kerrigan and Tanya Harding? <laughs> <laughs> you want to actually go ice skating? I had a dream that we did that, yeah. Which is the wait? So which is the one that broke the other girl's leg? Tanya Harding hired someone to bust Nancy S Kerrigan's knee. So which one do you want to be? I'm gonna be Tanya Harding. That's the one who got her knee busted. No, no, she no, no. She's the so one. So you should have like a baseball like a, bat. Not a base. What is the like a baton? You should have a baton and like and be chasing you. me.
That'd be so fun. We could do like interpretive skating to that. Can you believe that she actually did that? What a fucking psycho. She was really pretty. Margaret Robbie played her in the movie and she looked gorgeous. Just imagine like being like, I'm going to break I her know. fucking leg well, I, so she can't win. Right. I, I saw the movie Trisha's talking about. I don't, I don't know if it's super accurate, but in that movie it was depicted more that it was her like crazy weirdo husband that did yeah. it. Yeah. Oh, she wasn't involved? I don't buy Well, that. that's how the picture... The, don't buy that's it. how it was depicted yeah. in the film. I don't Isn't know. Isn't that funny how you can have a movie about your life and then everyone's on your side again? Because I was like, oh, I kind of feel bad for Tanya Harding because she had like an abusive mother and an abusive husband and you're like, oh man, I kind of feel sad for her. Mm. It's a good movie. You know, um, yeah. you know, imagine being so good at something that someone's like, I have to, I just have to break their legs because I don't have a chance. <laughs> that's kind of an honor. I guess that's good that I'm not good at anything. Because no one's me trying neither. to break my legs. Yeah. <laughs> no one's coming for me. Crazy. Do you not want to do that? Okay. No, I'm down. I mean, it's do a lot. Do you drive yourself to get vaccinated? You drove yourself? Yeah. I can't picture you driving yourself anywhere. What are you talking I don't about? Know. Anyways, sorry. You think I have a valet? I can, Yeah, I picture you. A driver? You, <laughs> Why? I'm not bougie at all. I can't go anywhere by myself. I get really anxious. Like, I need somebody, like, with me. I'm not you. Kind of. Oh. It's like looking mm. at a mirror. Oh, God. Cause I can see you now. I'm looking right at the other half of me. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. So it's a song called Mirror by Justin Timberlake. Yeah, 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 yeah. Justin Ramen Hair. Justin Ramen Hair Timberland. All right. We've got okay. there. We have a lot to get to before the oddly satisfying. So let's push through. Face peeling. What the fuck is this, Trisha? What's with the face uh, peeling? Oh my god! I looked horrible this weekend. Oh wait, 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 wait. TikTok is just. The I look worst. like a trout. Damn, girl, you are wild. What is this? <laughs> my, skin was, my skin was peeling. But what did you do to your skin? Oh, I got a chemical peel, which I didn't know what that meant. Peeling. And I have such a pick me obsession. I want to pick it. I, have a, I do have a picking obsession. They like burn your skin to peel off. No, you see all the scars on my arm? Like, I, I have such a, I have to pick things that are on me. So they, so so they was... literally put some kind of chemical that burns your skin off? I mean, yeah. that doesn't they, seem right. Yeah, they, you look like a burn victim. It's, oh my God. Okay. Well, maybe not that. Favorite. Honestly, though, I made me feel pick for me, girl. people who are like severe burns. It's like, bad. shit. It was really bad. It was really itchy and painful. Do you feel it helped your skin? No, because I picked it off. You're not supposed to pick it off. You damage it worse when you like rip off your skin. A little up and Oh, so you're supposed to just wait your while your yeah. skin withers it's off your face? Girl. Yeah. You're supposed to just let it flake it's off and fall. Back. That's five million views though, so someone liked it. Oh, so it was worth it. it. Paid for itself. Well, now I got my skin's messed up. Now I got because if you see up close, I'm sure you can see on these cameras, it's like flaking off. I saw your skin yesterday. It looked. Oh God. Okay. This trigger. Is my favorite. <laughs> trigger warning. Here's Trisha peeling her this skin off, this and I don't know who the. This is not, this is, this is oddly terrifying, <laughs> whatever the opposite. So your trigger warning to anyone who's sensitive, but apparently 5 million people watch this. So there you go. Apparently. No, they did. I mean, that's just not, I don't know who wants to watch that. <laughs> I had so much fun doing it. Oh, I wish I did my whole thing. Did face. it hurt? No, it's the best feeling. Oh my God. It's, I want to do it again. That looks so good. Don't. Don't. I'm looking at another one next week. I can peel it Don't. off. Oh, your fate! You're gonna end up. Ugh. Ugh. Stop. I hate it. I was trying to look like Megan Fox today, and I feel like I look like Snooki. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well. Because <laughs> my face is so round, like a bump. Oh, here's part two. We don't need part two. You sure? That's robbing them of the satisfying. Okay, part two. <laughs> Close your eyes if you're sensitive. <laughs> Girl, what are you doing with your life? I like your haircut, by the way. Can I just say? I like your haircut. I don't oh, want you to. Do? I didn't want you no, to. I, mean. I was just trying to be mean. No, I agree. Me. No, I, I was fast. So I needed to fire back. <laughs> no, I know. I felt a little like on no, the no, defense. No, no, It's fine. It's fine. No, but you made me feel a little bad. And so I wanted to make you feel bad. And that was Thank mean. you. But I actually agree that I always look way fatter when I cut my hair. That's why I wear extensions. But I, I, I don't feel. But it's okay. fine. Thank you for apologizing. Okay. I feel bad about it. Because I it's feel okay. like. I don't feel bad. Don't feel bad. You don't have anything to say to me. You also called me fat, which triggered that. Oh, oh, well, wait, what's the point of an apology if you're just oh, I thought, looking okay, for a you know, I, I was just looking to see if you had maybe forgot, but that's fine. Wait, when I called you fat for the... Um, that's what triggered me to call you fat. Wait, the TikTok thing or yeah. what I said? You're, I forget what I said. Both times. You said I was fat twice in this episode. You said, okay. and you're fat. And I was okay. like, oh, well, you're fat with that haircut. That's why I said it. <laughs> okay, okay, wait. Let's set some ground rules. Should I not say that? Um... 
<laughs> yeah. No, it's fine. Wait, should fine, I? I'm sorry. It sounded, a I'm little, sorry. it sounded a little aggressive when he said it, but then I was aggressive and I feel bad I'm about sorry. it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I feel bad. I called you fat. Should we hug? No. <laughs> I hate when you ask to hug on insincere moments. Why? I thought we we bar- we just buried the fat shit. Like the hatchet, the fat shit. I didn't call you. We buried the fat shit. We just squashed the beef instead of eating it. <laughs> oh my god. Wait, I'm not being mean. I'm just trying to be funny. Can I ask you another question? Yeah. How does it feel to have a skinny family? Because I have a skinny family too. Do you ever feel like mm, a little out of place? Well, I always feel out of place with my family. So. Even when you were skinny? Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. Well, my parents were always really annoying when I was skinny in high school. They would be, my mom was always trying to make me feel like I was anorexic and I needed to eat more. Oh, I love that. I've never had that feeling. I love that. So I was like, so she, it was always like, <laughs> you're too skinny. There was, it was, she was always giving me shit for my body. Like I was too skinny. I needed to eat more. And now obviously every time she sees me, I'm too fat, which like, yeah. Oh, interesting. So you don't, but you don't feel bad. It's so funny because my, my family's opposite. They literally never bring up my weight because they know I'm like triggered by it since I was like four. But I'm constantly thinking everyone's thinking about my weight and I'm always apologizing to them. Like, I know I'm eating a lot and they're like, what are you like? So I always wondered if you felt that way or you feel you don't feel anything. Mm, I know the feeling of what you mean about how it's like fat and you're always f- apologizing. Yeah. Like with Moses, I'm like, I'm, I'm going to work out tonight. I'm going to work. I like he literally doesn't care. But I'm always telling him like, Yila, I'm about to work Yila out. You stop giving me shit for it just because like she know it doesn't help. Right. But no, she, you don't not not way. to make her seem like mean or no, anything. Yeah. It's she's always she's encouraging and she wants me to be healthy. Yeah, and she wants. It's not like she's like I, I don't I want to yeah, make yeah, it, yeah. yeah. But do you? I'm healthy saying you. Feedback. Do you feel but that? I'm, yes, always, constantly, horrible in front of your family, more so or lo- or doesn't matter. Because I feel totally yeah, fine. I feel embarrassed. Not because they're Sorry. skinny. I hate to bring this up so much, but I've just been—it's been weighing Why? on me. Talk, no pun intended. I don't care. <laughs> I'm so. I'm so. I don't care like, talking about it. I get lately. I've been just really down on myself. I really feel really fat. I—I I probably am the heaviest because I couldn't fit into any. Literally, I'm wearing gym shorts today. I could not fit into anything. And I was just like, "What is wrong with me?" I don't know. I was just feeling a little depressed today. This day was not my day because even I put on. I was supposed to wear. No, anyways, I was supposed to wear this other outfit, and then I was like looking so ugly. I literally had a full me- like mental breakdown. I was like, I felt. I had a corset on. It wasn't this. I had this corset on that like did not fit, and I mean just had like fat rolls hanging over, and I was just like, "Oh my god." I mean, dude, I have I have that every, when I get dressed in the morning. Ugh. There's like shorts that were like elastic waist shorts mm-hmm. that like don't fit. I just got really a checker this morning. Sorry. I don't hope that's not depressing. I'm not bringing people down. Because, like, it honestly, it's just about me. it's about me. And then I know. And I don't look at, honestly, swear on my life. Like, demons come get me if I'm telling, the, like, a lie. But, like, I literally don't think you're fat at all. But then you always talk about it. So, I'm like, I wonder if you Wait, think. Me? I really don't think you're fat at all. I, I swear I don't. I say it because you do. But I don't think that. Really? And because you are taller and all this stuff like that. And in person, not to say that you don't. I think you look a lot heavier on camera. Because in person, you're, like, a lot smaller. You just don't like. I, see, I mean, you do unflattering things like this. So you sit back bad. You have like bad. See, you do that to look stupid, but you don't look like that. You don't look like I mean, that. You're pushing I yourself you out. Saying that, but, but that's why I wondered if it's like just in your head. It's like a mental thing. I don't know. It I might to, like, be because I've always felt that was fat, kind of. But now I feel like I really have fulfilled the prophecy. Should we have? <laughs> Do you have Dr. Drew talking about this? I feel like he specializes in like eating disorders. No, he's just going to come shame, fat shame me and tell you you're beautiful, <laughs> Angel. He'd be like, Ethan, you're fat. Trisha, you're perfect. <laughs> no, but I want to know the psychology behind it because I really... Did we get to ever order that pizza we talked about? <laughs> we did. Um, we did. Yeah. Arby's has a new crinkle fries today. Arby's? They just started. <laughs> did somebody say Arby's? Arby's. <laughs> I'm uh, hungry, though. I want to eat Arby's with you. <laughs> Like, what can I do? I do love eating with somebody that enjoys food. It is fun. I don't know anybody that it's enjoys food. It's different with you because these all these fucking losers <laughs> don't want to eat crinkle fries and, like, get, like, they don't want to get, like, ugh, bro, <laughs> just weird about it. You know what I mean? Moderation. Like, let's go. Pizza, crinkle fries. I mean, I am working out tonight. Yeah, right. I am. We got our workout machine got delivered. We are going to work out tonight. Because I felt so good. Remember like three episodes ago, I was like, look, I've lost, I lost like three pounds and I was feeling so good about myself. And then I just was like, okay, fuck it. Like, yeah, the problem I always, I've lately been having, I have had, I feel like before I started taking Lexapro, the antidepressant. Oh, you're on that. Which by the way, I love and like, I don't even, I love it. It's like. I hate Lexapro. 
right? We've talked about yeah, it. But yeah, for yeah. me, it's worked right, great. Right, right, right. And so I don't, there's no, I don't want to go off it by any means, but I've had a lot of trouble losing weight since I started. Mm-hmm. It. And so I yeah. felt like before the Lexapro, I could be like, okay, I need to lose 10 pounds. And I was able to do it. Yeah. But since I started the Lexapro about like a year and a half ago, I've been, I've been steadily gaining weight. And mm-hmm. every time I try to lose weight, it's like, I'll be really committed for like two weeks to something and then I don't and then I get on the scale and I didn't lose any weight and I just get so discouraged I say fuck it yeah I never weigh myself that's like really bad like even the thought of doing it today I was just like oh my god no because like honestly like that will trigger me into like another world it's really weird but I've been fat my whole life like literally since I was five people have called me fat so I was just like to me it's like Mm. whatever I don't know, but the thing is I am happy now like I'm so happy doesn't get in your way I mean it like I mean you you, m- men find you desirable you're successful you've got everything you want but yeah i think i've just never felt skinny and like what would that feel like like you've been skinny and i'm like oh my god to be like 130 pounds would be like what does that feel like i think i was 130 pounds at like literally five it's nice because you can like tie your shoe <laughs> you can clean your ass in the shower it's almost like you went to heaven and now you came Easier. back to tell me about the experience yeah i'll tell you all about it yeah so i can wipe my ass in the shower obviously but were you it's happier not, but it's not like it used to be I don't know. I mean, it's got really? nothing to do with that. Okay, well, that's good to but know. But the thing is, like, let's say I got a divorce. I mean, that's not happening, God forbid, whatever. But, like, right. I would probably be like, okay, if I ever want to find love again, I need to lose weight. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm the opposite. Whenever I go through, like, a breakup, I feel like I get fatter. I'm like, well, I'm fat anyways. Who cares? No really? Me. I feel like that's the classic guy move, though. When you have a breakup, it's like, hit the gym. Delete Facebook. What do they say? They say hit the gym, delete Facebook. <laughs> delete Facebook. I don't know why delete Facebook. So that's interesting because I, t- I have talked to eating disorder oh, so you therapists. Oh, your ex probably, yeah. I've talked to like eating disorder therapists mm-hmm. and they always tell me they're like, you're not going to be any happier. fifty. Because I always say the key to my happiness if I lose 50 pounds. And like you're no. not going to be happier 50 pounds. No, you're not happy. It's just there's always something. When I was, but there's nothing else. I I worry about nothing else. My weight. When I was a skinny legend, I was there. You (laughs) You still are. You still are a skinny legend. I don't like that you call yourself that because you are probably like a mediocre, medium weight. Like you're probably average weight. Bruh, I used to be like one thirty five. Okay, but you're what like two twenty at like almost six foot. I'm just saying, I was a skinny legend. Yeah. Okay. Continue. I want to hear what you had to say. It was fucking heaven, bro. I'm not going to lie. Oh, you loved it. I was just, it was like bliss So you were day. happier. It was ecstasy. No, I'm just kidding. Oh. <laughs> I was just like, I'm skinny. Everything's great. No. No, you got problems. You got problems. It's like, it's the fallacy of people say, oh, when you're rich, then all you're, then you're happy every day and you have no problems. You still have problems. I'm happier rich. Well, sure. You know what they say? They say there's like a certain amount of money where... You're stress like I think they say it's like you know something like a hundred thousand dollars a year. I don't know. What what? There's a certain <laughs> amount of money that someone oh. can make where you can get the maximum amount of like of life improvement from, and then anything else doesn't add. I mean, it's scarier to be happier with money because if you lose it one day, which could happen to anybody, then you're like, what? You're gonna be well. Like- you gotta go back to like McDonald. Like I, I mean, nothing against I'll be what- a stripper probably again. You just go straight to stripping. Yeah. You think you could strip at, like, what's the cutoff age for stripping? Um, You know what? Actually, I'd probably just do, like, porn or something, actually. That's what I you already I had, did. like, Dust, rest <laughs> in peace, but, like, Dustin Diamond just did porn because he had the name, and I was like, you know, I'd probably just do that. Butterfuko, who was that guy? What is the cutoff age for stripping? Um, I mean, there was ones that were in their 40s. I mean, I'm sure there's some place I would hire, like, a, I don't know. Is there, like, um, granny strip clubs? Um, ooh. <laughs> Business idea. Interesting. I wonder how they that. hit that. I wonder if they hit the <gasps> the pole. Should we do a strip club call? Well, you could have a real accident, though, at the pole with the grannies. Oh, you got into my shot. I like that. That was cool. It was cool to see you on the All right. Hold on. We're, listen, I love the chit chat. Wait, wait. Can we open up a strip club called Fatties where it's only fat strippers? Yeah, if you want to go bankrupt. I mean, I honestly <laughs> think there's a whole TikTok that I'm on of these like guys just saying how much they want to see fat girls more in their suits. Really? Yeah. Okay, sure. Let's, let's fucking open it. Should we try it? Let's, damn it. I'm in. Mr. Beast has his burgers. <laughs> we have our fatty strippers. I love that. We're the Mr. Beast of fat strippers. That could be really good. Get a reality show about it. Call E. God, can you imagine the people that would go in there? And then like the food would be like hella fatty too. Oh, the food would be bomb. People would come so just good. for the food. The butter noodles, your mashed potatoes. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> just for the food. They're like, actually this, they're like, dude, there's a new Michelin star restaurant in LA. It's called 
fat strippers, and it's, uh, it's we go there for the food, but there's also fat strippers. No, it's called fat fatties. Fat fatties. No, just fatties. What By the, just fatties. Yeah. Fatties. <laughs> Naked fatties. Just fatties is good. We don't need to <laughs> descriptive about it. <laughs> Oh, fatties is so good. Funny. I like that. All right. And now before we get to oh God, this is going to be a 10 hour episode, whatever. Who cares? People like it. <laughs> okay. I thought it'd be funny to every t- week now. I try to explain a meme to you. Someone said that. <laughs> so this is. Okay, fine. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, I, I want to see it. People were like, oh, Trisha Paytas doesn't get memes, but she likes Adam Sandler movies. She's like the equivalent of like dad energy. They're saying like you're not, it's not cool to like Adam Sandler anymore. Like it's not cool to find him funny that I'm like this like old dad because Why? I like, like Adam Sandler. A, well, like memes. obviously like, I mean, he's not, he's no, you know, I mean, he's no Steven Spielberg. I mean. Let's not put him on a pedestal. But people like kind of like crap on him now because he has like. I mean, his movies are objectively bad. But Sandy Wexler like, but, was amazing. But they're funny. Did you yeah. see Sandy Wexler? So good. No, but like he's made some of like the worst movies ever. Like what was that? Little Nicky. What so was good. Shit? QB Halloween. Um, I mean, I mean, um, um, what's the one where he plays his own twin sister? <gasps> Jack and Jill. We should cosplay as them. But I'm just saying, Jack and Jill is widely held to be one of the worst I love it. Films. I can quote it. I, I'm not kidding. I can quote that movie. I know every single thing about so, it. So you liked Adam Sandler, but like his movies, he's made some that people, I think people like for nostalgia. I think he's a great actor. But if you, I mean, if you want to say like he's a great filmmaker, then yeah, I think have a people, I mean, has, it, 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 let me pull up the rating here. This is why he'll never be on our show. Yesterday you were like, that's never going to happen. He's never going to be on our show. You know that, right? And I was like, because you're saying this I think he's a stuff. great actor. I love his acting. Uncut Gems. Amazing. Okay, you want to see Jack and Jill on... on um, Ooh, gaga dogo, put a go-go. It has a 3.3 on IMDb. Jack, that's, this that's actually pretty high. This has a little bit of racist undertones, which I don't love. There's like an Indian kid that in like this Hispanic guy that they kind of make racist jokes Oh, yeah. About. that Dude, that was just outrageous. The yeah, whole that Hispanic character who fell in love with his sister or something. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you know the movie, though. Oh, yeah. I watched it, of course, because I made a review about it. Oh, you did? I like 3%. It. I mean, it doesn't get worse. I think people are haters. I think anytime a, com- <laughs> I think anytime a comedian makes a movie where he plays his own twin... It's a fucking... Who else? Oh, Lindsay that, Lohan? Bro, that's been done so many times. It's like an Eddie Murphy thing. It's like a... I want to do that. That's... It's like a true... Okay. It'll be bad, but I'll watch it. I'll Jack you. and Jill's good. I think people are just haters. No, that movie is fucking objective. I don't horrible. like that he puts... He has Rob Schneider in his movie so many times, though. And Rob Schneider is undeniably not funny and also... I agree. Person. Although it fe- here's the the con- the critics consensus. Although it features an inexplicably committed performance from Al Pacino. <laughs> so good, Duncan Gino. Duncan 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 Duncan. Jack Duncan, and Jill Duncan. is impossible to recommend on any level whatsoever. I think it's great. That's the consensus of the critics. Haters, someone gets too poppin', they want to try and bring That's them down. Fuck. Yeah, that and then like out like I feel like this movie almost single handedly ruined Al Pacino's legacy. I think it was great. <laughs> like Johnny Depp was in the movie. It was good. Okay, whatever. Listen to the Jack and Jill fucking analysis show. Let's just oh, look at some memes. That was the case. <laughs> All right. Okay. Yeah. So here's the first meme. Okay. Oh it's my comes from God. our subreddit. I hate when I'm a meme. Okay, ready? It says, I may not be Jewish, but the drip is real. Okay, but why am I in clouds? Because you're in heaven, probably. I thought I'm in Israel. Isn't that the joke? We're in Israel. So you do we get like this? I mean, one I or get no? the 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 what's that called? The the words. Yeah, the text. I don't get why they use that photo in heaven. Because you're dripping. Views ascended. It's a Harvard shirt. It's not even a Jewish shirt. I may not be Jewish, but the drip is real. I just okay. don't. We I, have we 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 don't get. I it. like I like the comment. I like the the context. It just doesn't make any sense with my outfit, the location. Because you're dripping. And what? Okay. Okay. Next meme. <gasps> Big Daddy. Ready? Right? Is this from Big Daddy? This one says Trisha making her. I love. Okay, let me read this again. Trisha <laughs> making her I love Mo- Moses music video. This is you. Okay. How do you do, fellow Jews? I like this one because isn't that from an Adam Sandler movie? I like this one. But what is that from? I think it's oh. from a TV show. It's from, but do you it's get from the meme? Rock. So oh. this is you what? saying, how do you do with my fellow Jews? 
Uh-huh. Okay. Well, you have to kind of understand the context yeah. of the original uh, the, meme. So okay, yeah. The original uh, meme is him trying to act like he's a like high school. It's how do you do, fellow kids? Yeah. So the meme is he always goes up to kids and says, "How do you do, fellow kids?" Like he's trying to pretend mm. like he's in high oh, school. Okay. Wow. So that's you. How do you do, fellow Jews? Okay, I like that one. I get it. You get it. Yeah, that one's good. Okay. But I, again, if you didn't explain the meme, I, don't, I think if you explain the meme, the meme is dead, is what I hear. Right. Well, you didn't. You have to understand the context of this one. Otherwise, I don't think. You I thought ever. it was an Amazon one, so I got excited that maybe I'd understand it, but I didn't. Um, that meme. Here's another one. <laughs> this one is pretty deep cut, but <laughs> I don't get this one. <laughs> My goal in life is to be uh, is to become to make as many memes as possible to confuse Trisha. Oh, mean. Uh, I wish Reddit Reddit's canceled yeah. again. I, I like wish them. I wish all a very with peace and love. No idea. <laughs> to be quite frank, I don't understand uh, this meme either. Okay, well then you tried it. <laughs> you tried to trick me. And you don't even know what the fuck is this, Dan? Do you know? <laughs> you haven't you haven't seen the the bugs and tux meme? No. What is the bugs and tux? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I miss that. Well, it's always very grammatically awkward is like part of the joke. <laughs> okay. uh, and <laughs> It's bad. This is a deep cut. <laughs> this one, yeah, I, I, I can understand. Not oh, my understand. God. Who is this person? Put them on blast. Who made that meme? <laughs> I think it was James Charles. No, don't put James Charles on blast or something you didn't even do. Okay, this is the final one. When Trisha <sighs> sees this meme. I'm confused. Right. Okay. Well, that's because this is a meme format. Okay. Of someone confused. So memes are taking one image and just putting different letter, different words to it. Yes. You guys are geniuses out there. That's I'm not so smart. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, so well, another well, caption hmm. for that picture could be me trying to do algebra. That yeah, would that's be not funny. That's, that's actually a Oh my god. I actually think that's pretty funny because it's you. just funny. Okay. <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> when Trish tries to do there's geometry. Ma- there's math on the thing. I know that's I so thought literal. Said, oh my god. No, that's it's so literal too. that it's funny. Thank you. <laughs> like, but anyway, if this got by the way, this meme got three thousand points and it was awarded several awards. Wow. Just so you know that this non existent awards. No, they're real. Where do they get? They get it in the mail? They're digital awards. What do you oh, want? Was that FT award? What is the devil not real all of a sudden? <laughs> the demons are real. Where's his award? You're sorry, I brought that up. Where's God's award? I pray you never have demons come and try and possess you, or you sell your soul to the devil. Oh my God, what I, what did I do to deserve this? Why did my I didn't? I'm, I'm not, just scared that that's gonna happen. I'm to not you. selling my soul to anybody. If anyone, I'll sell my soul. What do I sell my soul for? Hmm. <sighs> Nothing comes to mind, exactly. really. Exactly. Mm. Hmm. Yeah, not for sale, people. Me neither. I can't be bought. Um, I, there's some David Dobrik news. It's short, <laughs> though. Like, for example, Todd put out an apology. I don't think we talked about this. Oh. Todd, the Toddster, Todd, <laughs> Todd Arena, my man. Is that from something too? And he just seems like that oh. kind of guy. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. I get it. Todd, in case people don't know who Todd Smith is, because I don't really know. He's this douche. Actually, I don't know if he's a douche, but he's he really like is. One. I've said Todd, Brandon, David, Jason. Those are the four creepsters of that group. Like they need help. Todd, my Todd dude. Is, yeah. Todd, he's the one, what's you see the good? Interns, and he's, he's like Jack, though, eh? I mean, yeah, Jeff he's, too. Damn, what's up? He's the one that had the 16 year old interns with Jason at their house. They had like, did you yeah. see that video of the 16 year olds they had that showed up for David and they said you can work for us and he had them like clean their kitchen and stuff like that. Dude, that is so. And they had like 16 year old girls at the house and Jason's like, these are new interns. They're 16. I'm like, Ugh, you're 40. You have 16 year olds at your house cleaning your kitchen, bro. He's 44. He, at the time. No, Jason, not this guy. Oh yeah, yeah, this kid's like 30 something now. Pretty jacked though. Hmm. I know. What Who's more heck? Jack, Jeff or Todd? Jeff <laughs> Jeff looks like he's trying to flex, though. Jeff looks really skinny. I feel bad for him. I feel like he can't work out anymore. Jeff looks like he's, like, trying to look casual, but he's flexing so fucking hard. Well, Jeff gets more points because he's he's speaking up and donating yeah. and doing stuff, so. Yeah. Shout out to Jeff. 
Todd is kind of the worst. I'm not going to lie. He's so really- anyway, here's his statement. Or did you read a statement? Um, yeah, I did. Mm-hmm. But we can read it again. Okay. Todd said, from Todd. 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 <laughs> the fuck? Toddy boy. <laughs> this is an apology to Hannah and her friends, an acknowledgement of my role and the trauma they went through and the night and of and the and that night and the pain. I'm I'm reading it from far away, so part of me. They carried every day since. I would like to own up to my mistake and apologize to those I have hurt with my insensitivity. I do not condone uh, uh, actual, actual misconduct of any kind. I'm so stupid. I'll just say it's sexual misconduct. You can bleep it or some shit. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, I don't know with YouTube. It's like all of a sudden oh, you say oh. the wrong word and they're like, fuck your whole episode. Oh, I thought you were like, okay. You know what I mean? I thought you were trying to be, yeah. Mm-hmm. No, I'm not making jokes. I, I didn't think that, that you're trying to be sensitive towards me or something. And I was like, it's fine, but then I get what you're saying. Yeah. I'm sorry for the disgusting comment I made in that video. And it, he was the one who said, I'm getting horny, I believe, when he looked in. Right. Yeah. And I'm he so- did bring, buy alcohol for himself that oh, night. Oh, <laughs> yeah, right. We, yeah. That always slides under. Is that <laughs> of course it apparently, does. allegedly, <laughs> I mean, we don't know for sure, but according, well, uh, well you, well, according to you. You saw. No, I didn't see him buy it. I, no, oh, you yeah. didn't. Okay. I so. said Jeff. I had said, he asked Jeff and Jeff said, I'll go get it. And then we left. So okay. I didn't. So but the, according the to the, the say, witnesses. Actually, Jeff said Todd bought alcohol for himself. And then he changed it and said there was no alcohol. But then he changed it again and said Trisha wasn't there when the alcohol was brought back. So it just flipped out a lot. But anyways. Jeff did say Todd bought alcohol for himself. <laughs> yeah, so. And the witnesses said that he did. So. I mean, we know. The ev- there is evidence pointing to Todd coming back with some of that whiskey. Who's ready to party? <laughs> all right. Sorry, Todd. Anyway, I'm sorry for all that stuff. I'm sorry to have been a part of a toxic environment that got in- you into this situation. I'm sorry that I was so naive and did not challenge my own perception to know what was actually happening in that room. Jump cut to him being like, I'm getting kind of turned on right now. They're so bullshit too when they're like, (laughs) Allegedly, when they're like, nothing was going on in those rooms. Every time anyone's asked, the vlogs are real. It's 100% real. Nothing scripted. It's not. I've been a part of those vlogs. It's never like I'm looking into some fake thing happening and be like, whoa, look at that happening over yeah, there. That's, what, that's the impression. I, oh, oh, you know why I get that Allegedly. impression? Is because every time you listen to David talk, like when you listen to him talk about, for example, the Seth thing, mm-hmm. people were going, oh, this is fake. And David, go, he wants people to know desperately that it's all real. And it is. Is, it yeah. is. The way they set up stuff is like 100% real. Yeah. They set up scenarios to happen, but like it's not fake what they're setting up. There's always like real shit happening. That's how he gets reactions. It's so and it, uh, Todd continues. I was trying to say, uh, he says, I never left the apartment until it was time to go. And I did never purchase alcohol despite Jeff saying, he, Jeff said you did buy alcohol for yourself. <laughs> so maybe you guys... They did not get their story straight. Yeah, you guys didn't get your stories straight. (laughs) Come on. He did not per. Oh, well, he says, okay, he did never purchase alcohol for anybody that night. I did hop up to make. I did. I feel like the fifth grader who can't read. I can't see that far. Otherwise, I would read for you. I have like the worst eyes. Yeah, uh, just so you guys know, it is far away. (laughs) I did hop up to make a joke for the vlog. What does that mean? He hopped up like. (gasps) (laughs) Oh, David needs me. What's, what's the line? Let me speak of the room more fast. <laughs> oh, I'm turned on right now. I hopped up. Weird way to write it. <laughs> I was trying to say something edgy and crude for a laugh, but it was not funny, and I'm ashamed of myself. <laughs> I am in full support of Hannah coming forward. I cannot imagine the way she feels, and I'm so sorry to have been involved. And I understand that my uh, inaction was of equally awful consequence. I was in the apartment and contributed to the toxic environment that led to SA. I know I need to uh, continue to educate myself. I sincerely apologize to those I have hurt, including SA survivors. I will, however, continue to have 16-year-olds clean my kitchen. Oh, sorry. (laughs) I got blurry. Okay. Yeah. He said... (laughs) 
uh, now I see how my action added to a culture that allowed this to happen. I'm embarrassed that this is what it took for me to learn about the effects of my behavior and action and ignorance. I fully plan on paying the 16 year olds cleaning my kitchen instead of them working pro bono. Oh, sorry again. <laughs> I fully plan on lear learning from my mistakes and educating myself through different resources on essay. It's a pretty good apology. Yeah. I mean, I think he, that There's was the bare big, minimum he could have done. There's the but... big question mark about the alcohol. I mean, that will never get answered. They're just all back and forth. And, yeah, we'll never get answered. I mean, the girl said it was there. It was there. Jeff said it was there. Everyone I mean, said it was there. I mean, but, okay. to me, it's like I, I, a lot of people say, oh, what does it matter? The alcohol is there. But I mean, what to me, you know what? It doesn't matter. It actually does it, matter. It's applying well, uh, Jay, alcohol to minors is a big thing. Cause, well, like, it matters if it's true that David yeah, was like, that's a huge go thing. get it. To liquor these girls up. But guess what? Even if you didn't buy it directly for them and there was alcohol at the house, just like a drunk driving at parties, the person throwing the party can get sued for the drunk drivers being killed. It so happened. it was Dom, it was at Dom's apartment, right? So But but they could say apartment. someone supplied the alcohol there and then that person's at fault for supplying minors with alcohol. It's a, yeah, it no, is like no, a thing. No, yeah. oh yeah. It's if I mean if there was proof that one of these guys got I it, mean, so. that's why I left because I was like, this I know for a fact is a really bad no matter the outcome of anything happening, not knowing what was gonna happen that night. Like it was just regardless, it was just bad. It was like this is bad, we're buying minors alcohol. Like that's not happening, we're not gonna be here for there that. There does seem to have been a trend of David keeping the people around him drunk to try to get entertaining content though. So I mean he's fits, admitted that, yeah. It fits the And Tana came out with tweets about saying any guy who flirted or tried to get at me when I was 18, 19, you're disgusting. Hmm. And she said, anyone that's 10 years older than you at that age that thinks they get you is, is it doesn't. And they're just, oh, yeah. I mean, but it was interesting because she's older now. She's like, what, 24? Not that much older, but you know, 25 maybe. I mean, and, that's a big difference from 18 to No, of course. 20. But the fact that she already sees it because now I'm seeing this with like younger influencers, like these TikTokers and stuff like that. It's so disgusting. And like, I'm, I'm glad she spoke up because like she was such a part of that, like that stuff with Jason and Tana. Like I was just like watching that back was like, so repulsive she goes it was a fake date and then he turned it into a real one and i was confused and why did he try and kiss me when the cameras were off like it was so repulsive and disgusting and it just made me want to puke like jason makes me like honestly he makes me want to puke i just i don't know what else to say about it and well, he has yet to say anything and he's been like a yeah, common denominator in, interestingly in all this. the one the pretty much the only one now who hasn't made a statement yeah who was there abandoned his youtube channel like not on not doing the podcast anymore david but has nothing what is to say he gonna, what is jason gonna do or oh, he did a show he did a he's still yeah doing he's doing stand-up i guess huh i wonder what his act's like there was nothing nowhere online nothing about it it's so weird like no so y'all heard about the <laughs> y'all heard about this guy dirty dom <laughs> boy that guy's a real piece of shit <laughs> Yikes. Um, yeah, it's really gross, especially since he's the oldest and has children. Like, you you probably should be the first person to say something because you're fucking old. Like, you should know better. Does he have a daughter? Not that it really matters. It, no, but it does matter. He has a he has a daughter and a son. Yeah, no, it does. Oh, that you mean did you see that like... clip? Which I've been saying this for years. His daughter, he said on the I podcast, the 10-year-old, his daughter. I have it. You have? Yep. Well, I don't know if you want to read that, but it was so disgusting. I've been saying this. She Wait, lived I I had in it. a house with Jason and his son oh, you, and Scott. Let and me Todd. play the clip. Let me play, um, Ian, she, can you find it? You know what she's talking about? It's the one where his poor daughter is complaining about living with Todd. On the podcast. Or Zane. Scott and Todd. Yeah. It's probably on the subreddit. She, I thought yeah, I pulled it. She basically, yeah. But this, so oh, he's going to pull that. We can listen to it. But this video, I know you, I know you're not on good terms with Gabby Hanna. Oh yeah, I'm not. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't like Gabby Hanna. I have my own issues with her. But yeah, this is gross. But this clip genuinely made oh. my blood boil. I. I will. I, I felt so fucking bad. Yeah. The shit this that they cool. said and did to Gabby is something that could cause lifelong trauma. Like this is so fucked up, and it makes me so uncomfortable that people were watching this and okay with this. This shit is. So disturbing. I will say, like, I'm not, I won't say anything she said privately to me, but when we did the when I did the podcast, we talked for like two hours privately off camera, and she told me a lot of this stuff and how it like affected her. Like she started like crying, and I wish, I wish, yeah. I'm not saying I hope she would speak up. I mean, I know if she's not comfortable, she wants to get past it, but it's like beyond drama at this point. This is like some really like humiliating, traumatizing things that like they gave this out to the audience. They said it was okay. Zane's never acknowledges, Heath's never acknowledges. It's like so gross. Like this is a time where I feel like she should 
speak up because she has so much to say about it. I talked to her privately about it, and it's like it's so gross. I wonder like, what I mean. She tweeted something cryptic about talking to lawyers or something. Yeah, I, but I then she's like, I didn't sign any NDAs, and even if you did, like you can still talk about this. I don't know. What that yeah, means. NDAs doesn't mean anything at this point. Yeah, I hope she. I hope she does. But anyway, it all this clip speaks for itself because again, I wasn't super familiar with his vlogs, but I have never seen such blatant. And it's not just bullying. It's like really. It's just like nasty. It's like, nasty. Mm. Like just like cruel, evil, really. Listen to this shit. Really? Yeah. Uh, it off. That's not her makeup. Fuck. That's just her face. Oh, shit. You're right. She ugly. <laughs> the beauty aisle. Gabby, have you ever been in there? Yeah, Probably not. She's beautiful. What? Turn the camera off. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> I'm still right here. <laughs> we wanted to do a little secret Santa since we're all going home for the holidays. And we just wanted to put it on camera so that we would have it forever. I got a gift. And I got it for Gabby. Oh, it's for me? And she's been needing these. And I know how much you love to dance. Wait, it's something I've needed? You've definitely needed it. We've all kind of talked about it. Are these diet pills? Oh my god, David, that is so true. Exactly. And now take four of these and you can probably dance better. It's amazing what artists can do with people's faces. Look what they did to Gabby's. Oh, it's so lifelike. Is it a Gabby show? A Gabby, yeah. Ew. She's like, she's really like <laughs> loud voice. Really ugly. I, I mean, I wouldn't say, I don't know. <laughs> I'm like putting it on the spot. Keep looking at that thing out of the room. What, the pimple? Zane, why would you say that? Because you're a girl. I know it hurt you. What the fuck? All right, Gabby, can you hurry up, dude? You've been in there for so long. All right. You probably look fine. Calm down, Fuck, hurry, Jesus go. Christ, are you what? a fucking raccoon? When Gabby's on her period. I was so excited to come, though. That Well, yeah, I'm always excited to come, but I was so excited to go to Target that I was sitting on my bed literally just waiting for your text. I was just so excited. Are you not wearing makeup? It's so easy to tell. This is frightening. This is an exact replica of Gabby's face. So wait till she sees it on someone else. So how often do you exercise? Uh, every day. Every day? Mm-hmm. So I shouldn't even try, right? Like, I could have an amazing guy, and I threw it away because of you. <laughs> <laughs> I could have an amazing guy. That's what got me. Yeah, who's the amazing guy, Gabby? <laughs> I need to keep a straight face when I so I can have an amazing guy. How to ruin a perfectly good day. Hi. It's that easy. Everybody should love themselves just the way they are. Okay, so you probably get a nose job, right? I don't know what you're so afraid of. You've been calling me fat since you vlog one. It's probably stuck in my... I hate him. The fact that everyone's like, oh, this is such a nice guy. Like, it's like, maybe he's not like the devil, Wait, but you know. He's on a, <laughs> he was on a fucking anti-bullying tour. <laughs> is he off that now? Yeah, oh, he he got, <laughs> they finally got his ass off that. I mean, people would just go, you're ugly, you're fat. I mean, th that's like the lowest form of like. But they're not even. Intellect, like that. there's nothing to that. Like, why? I feel like even in middle school, kids would be like, okay, that's tone it down, David. Right. And she clearly is like, why would you say that? That's so mean. It's like, it's not like this friendly banter. Because they always like to say, we banter with each other. But it's. I watched that and I was like, I hate him. He yeah. is a disgusting fucking bully. And, and people go, oh, oh, they always go, oh, everyone's just giving each other a hard time. Really? What's the joke about David? <laughs> right. Right. What's the joke about David? You can't make jokes about David. Like, David does not, like, yeah, you can't have anything to say about David. There's no jokes about him. Well, I have some now. <laughs> well, first of all, we know he's a cuck. Not that there's anything wrong with that. <laughs> okay, so there's no, that's not a criticism, then. Right, so we can't do that. I mean, well, he's, he's a, a freak. Soulless. Yeah, he has no, he's, he's a bully. He's an asshole. Definitely a bully. Yeah. PewDiePie confirmed that, too. PewDiePie's like, I knew it. I told you. Yeah, that too, I thing. did. <laughs> Shout out to, Felix did call it, actually. He actually did. I have to give a shout out to mm -hmm. to Pew PewDiePie. Uh, he said something like a while ago about how David gave him weird vibes. I mean, I've been calling it out too, but yes. But PewDiePie. Well, yeah. I mean, I gave you all, <laughs> up, but not no. Hey, listen. I'll, no, no, no. Oh, yeah, I know. Hey, I like no. Like I said, when no, you but call it, it out, and people, someone like him, yeah, uh, it, that that was on his radars right. is you know obviously you. No, I know. It. I know. I feel like when people that are have credibility can like confirm my story, you know, because I get I get what I look like. I look like a troll that just like comes from well, whatever. I hate it though. I didn't know this until H three Live when you said Phase Banks said or Mac was like or what's his name Mike Mac. Mike. Mike. He was like, well, Trisha Paytas could say anything about you. I'm like, I don't know you. Like, I was like with David for so long. I've only talked about people I know. Even I don't even come hard for like James. Like, I don't know them. Like, if I know someone personally, yeah. like, then I have stuff to say. But like, if I, I don't know FaZe, whatever, what is his name? But I don't. FaZe Blanks. 
that was a triggering podcast. I just listened to your H three, like the little snippet you played of that. I was just like, this yeah, is it was bad when with Phase Blanks talking about it with Mike. Yikes! And it, that's when okay, yeah, yeah, they're so horrible. I was like, fuck these guys, Fa- guys. Anyone who knows about Phase Banks, I've renamed him Phase Blanks because when he thinks, nothing happens. Because when I think, nothing happens. What is that from? Also, it means oh my that God, that's he's prestigious. infertile. Yeah. And you could be a three stooge right now. You look like the curly, right? I don't know. Will Sasso played him in the movie with the shaved head. Can I be a three stooge? Aren't they Jewish? Yes. Oh, there we go. Yes. We love that. Can I be a stooge? You've you have been a stooge. Thank you. You've been a stooge your whole life. I don't know what that means. I don't even know what a stooge is. I don't it's a sucker, I think. Is it a derogatory term? Yeah. Why would they make a movie like called the three stooges? Because they're numbskulls. They're they're idiots. I think, but nothing happens. Can okay. you do that? Do it. Poker. No, poke my face. Or is it going to hurt? <laughs> oh. Wait, that wait is that it? Th- wait, I, I forgot about that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's a whole bit. And then you do like, but just what happens when you do just one? I don't know. You use two hands is the. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I love Thank you, Dan. Just can we yeah. Oh, my God. Day? I love. Yeah. Here, do it to me. I'm scared. I have a long nails. Okay, good. That was fun. Dang. <laughs> 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 okay. All right. Enough. <laughs> Will Sasso hit me up on Tinder when I was single. Did you find oh. that one clip of Jason <laughs> saying, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, it's at the top of the doc, you guys. You he guys just wanted to fuck, though. He didn't want to date, which was Who wanted good. to fuck you? Will Sasso on Tinder. Who's that? The guy from the Three Stooges from Mad and Mad TV. TV yeah. Wait, I need a picture. I need to see a picture of this guy. <laughs> You'll recognize him. I thought he'd want to date, but he just wanted to fuck. Well, see, isn't that flattering? <laughs> no, that's not flattering. No girl uh, wants to just. Oh, uh, but it's like. You know, I guess for me as a guy, if any time a woman wants to have sex with me, it's a deep, okay. deeply flattering experience. It's a little different. <laughs> but nobody wants to... F- this guy wanted to fuck you? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Which usually big guys don't like big it's, girls. It's not a great proposition. He's cute. I think he's cute, but I don't... like. I feel like... But he's not like Brad Pitt. You know what I mean? It's like, hey, let's fuck. You're like, okay. Brad Pitt's never wanted to fuck me. He's never come on to me ever. This guy? Well, that's fucking awesome. I mean, it's disgusting, but it's funny. Why? I mean, it's... Yeah. Well, it was an honest proposition, right? Right. At least you're trying to be upfront about it. Mm, this guy could have been all over you, sweating. I think he's good looking, but I was not in the market. For... I bet you'd ask him for weird shit, like a, like a, two fingers in his ass, not just one, but two. Oh, my God. Like when Jay Moore was like, I'm going to give you an American Express card. I was like, is that I'm a hooker for having <laughs> sex with me? <laughs> I'm going to give you a prepaid American Express he did. card. Yeah. Last wow. time, like la- right before me and Moses became official. No, that's that was my last straw. I was like, I'm not doing hookups anymore. This is Uh, weird. (laughs) And uh, he's into wrestling, so he tried to like throw me and pin me around. It was crazy. It was sorry. Did he have a good? Could he? Could he throw your weight around, or did you have a weight advantage (laughs) on him? He could. He could. Strong. Yeah. Weird. How weird. I I hooked up with a WWE wrestler, Dolph Ziggler. He's like this really like ripped guy. Let me get a Dolph Ziggler on the screen. This is the opposite of a Will Sasso. (laughs) I mean, Will Sasso is very attractive too, but wait. Dolph Ziggler. Ziggler. So what tell me about Dolph Ziggler? He threw like oh, my threw. like he was able to body slam like just like You had sex with this guy? This guy's a hunk. Yeah. Yeah. He was so nice too. How'd so you hook, how'd you meet him? Um Twitter. He likes big girls. He dated Amy Schumer. He just straight up DM'd you was like, yo, I'm Dolph. Let's fuck. <gasps> commented awesome. on stuff because I, I didn't know who he was i think he commented on stuff and then like a blue check mark and i was like okay blue check mark and you guys just met up we no- met up yeah uh-huh. nothing and he was, ever happened no we hooked up we hooked up but well, like he didn't want to date or, or you didn't want to no date. he was so respectful and so nice i messed up i did like an exposed video because he <laughs> you did an exposed video on poor <laughs> Dolph Ziggler. i feel so bad for him because he's literally the nicest guy in the whole world <laughs> and like so respectful and so nice and just like amazing and everything. what did way. you say about Dolph Ziggler? So, uh, he, we were supposed to go on a date and i got glam i got full glam and this was i mean this was so long ago like five years ago six years ago and um he's like Hey, like I just got into town because he was here for he's always working and he was here for like WrestleMania or something in LA. And he's like, I just got into town and I'm just really tired tonight. Can we meet up tomorrow? And I lost my shit. I was like, this motherfucker flaked up. I I don't you know. Made I made a video? Yeah. I think oh I had something God, unhinged Trisha. in me. I feel so you bad. Think? And then he never ever talked <laughs> well, to me again. Of course I, not. I know. So wait, you did have sex with him at least once. Oh uh, yeah, uh-huh. One time. And then the or second twice. time he's twice. like, Wow, imagine what he twice. 
Okay, good. And he like stayed the night. He dude, took me out for drinks. Like it was like really nice. Like he took me out to go dude, eat. And, imagine like, what he thought that day when he saw your video. He was like, "Holy shit, this girl is wild." I know. Can I be real? I kind of wanted people just to know I hooked up with him. I think that's maybe why I did it to be like, you know, this is like I thought he was, you know. So he was able to th- toss you around. Oh my god, so strong because he's not like super big though. He's like well, five. He, he deals with big ass dudes all day. <laughs> He's used to throwing <laughs> bodies around. He's like, I got nothing on this. Like, Interesting. Yeah, it made me feel like I was 20 pounds. I was like, wow. oh my God. I mean, I don't want to be graphic Moses here, but you know what I mean? Like, it just was I don't a think lot. Moses care. He's like working. He literally does. <laughs> so here's the clip you were mentioning that I said we play. Um, another podcast <laughs> classic <laughs> of Jason's poor 10-year-old daughter expressing not wanting to live with a bunch of frat brothers. <laughs> Share your room. Yeah, yeah. for now. For Which now. we've done that before. No, I'm totally But kidding. Charlie was not happy about it. She wasn't? Well, she doesn't like Zane's videos. Really? So, no. She she um <laughs> she was not happy. He what was she, fine. Who does? I'm <laughs> just kidding. I've never seen his videos, but she, Oh, even more shade. <laughs> she probably has She probably has good taste. <laughs> you say? She was like, um she like she like went and she closed the door to the kitchen. She was like, "Can we sit on the couch and have a talk?" And no was, fucking way. Yeah, and I was like, "Yeah." She's like, "Um, daddy, it's just kind of like I like your friends, but it's like I'm a girl, and like you know, it's just hard living with all these boys all the time." Oh my god, how old is she? She's ten. <laughs> Holy fuck! Yeah, that's insane. She's like, you know, I'm going through girl stuff. I was like, no, you're not. <laughs> Oh my! No, yeah, you're well, not. Daddy's about you to live on the fucking street. Uh, yeah, you start you dating, you <laughs> rent, like you know, when my friends move in because I can't afford rent. You little shit. Sometimes I do explain money to them, and it, they have no. Jason, so you're going to try to tell your ten year old daughter that you have to live with <laughs> fucking twenty year old roommates, like that. I've been saying that, and it was so weird. Like nobody said anything. I was like, that's so messed up for that child, and I, I know find that too. So odd that nobody cared that his ten year old daughter was living with Todd. Todd and Scott. And Scott's girlfriend, Kristen. Like, it was all of them that living in a house. That is not normal. And then they moved again, and he continued to live with Todd. And then Zane moved in. Zane would be passed out drunk on the couch. Like, it was, I was like, how is The what? fact that he would even joke about, like, for a 10-year-old daughter to muster up the courage to sit down with her dad in a serious manner and be like, I'm uncomfortable with this situation is, first of all, I think probably difficult for a young girl to make that choice to begin with. And then for him not to be receptive to it. Yeah, and this was when they lived in the first house. He moved again a second house with Todd and Zane and all that. And I was just like... How, it's it's crazy. It's crazy that Jason has d- said zero, like zero things. Like it's 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 so gross. Like, well, I listen. I don't know what's the relationship with his kids. I, I don't want to get into that. Yeah. I'm sure that but was even hard. I don't. I don't want to. I don't want to say. You know, as as a as a parent, I don't want to say or make any assumptions. But I find that situation very, very, very fucking odd. I think there's so many things they should delete views. If they're deleting YouTube videos, they should delete the views podcast because obviously this is because the view ain't nice. The view ain't good. And it's also just showing. Also, why did he re-upload to Facebook but delete it on YouTube? Oh, yeah. He's, I, I think probably what's happening is that, that a third party is doing the Facebook re-uploads. But what's funny is that, like, <laughs> they're still uploading his videos to Facebook and getting, like, mad views. And I'm sure it's monetized. It's like Facebook is such a, is such a dumpster fire. Like, Facebook is, oh, it's such a wasteland. It's, I don't know how else to describe it. They should. I wish MySpace would come back. And Facebook, Facebook doesn't give a that. shit. I mean, dude, you could probably. They're probably. There's. There's probably. I think I have GERD. GERD gang. Should Is that we, what I have? I can't like breathe. Should we get something like nasty for food? Pizza. You want pizza again? Or what? What else? We don't like the same kind of foods. We found this out for our eating contest. You. We like very different. Why? What foods. do you want to eat? Um, mm, I don't know. I could eat anything. What's Pizza? your? I don't want pasta. That's for sure. You really hate pasta. It's so weird. I don't know if we can be besties if you. Don't I don't pasta. like pasta. I just, I pasta is such a waste of because mm. pasta is like a really unhealthy food. And so for me, if I'm gonna stuff my face with like something that's generally that bad for me i'd way rather eat like hamburger or french fries or pizza i really think it's your medication that may cause you to have gained weight because you really don't eat like bad food i never see you eating like chips or cookies like you always kind of eat like healthy mm. stuff you're eating like strawberries and like you know that kind of stuff mm. i've been hitting ice cream at night oh that's the worst i used to do ice cream all the time Ela started was- buying ice cream for her because she wanted to gain weight <laughs> and i'm eating all of it <laughs> 
<laughs> and I, I, can f- I, you know what? I started to feel like an addict because I never used to do this, but now I do it where I like sneak or I sneak bites. Oh, really? Like why? Because because I'm embarrassed. Okay. Well, that's what I was trying to get at earlier is how you feel around other people. That's a new thing, though. Is, really? It's like the sneaking the bites because I'm embarrassed. Like she'll be on the couch and I'll be like, try to open the freezer real quiet and be like. Oh, interesting. Put it back so she doesn't hear. I've done that. Yeah, for sure. I think that's a common thing people do. Even like subconsciously, like knowing nobody cares in my house, I still do. <laughs> <laughs> I'll still go in and try to eat something real quick. Oh, my yeah. God. It's just, it's just, just put it on TikTok and that call it a job. Just like, I got to do this for my job. Baby, I got to steal some ice cream for my job. What's the... <gasps> ma- Voyeuristic eating? I'm not doing that. David might be into it. Don't give me any more reason to eat because I'll stop. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh why? Da- David would watch that. Okay, there's one other thing that I wanted to share with you before we get into Oddly Satisfying. Two hours later, longest thing ever. <laughs> I Listen, what I we have a lot to talk about. <laughs> James Charles, old tweet. <laughs> he said <laughs> he said in 2015 12 year old girls always manage to make the worst people famous irony I alert mean, yeah. irony alert is this ah, iron meat kettle what hmm? kettle iron meat kettle what is he saying iron meat kettle what is the thing What's tea that? called hot tea meat hot what is that thing you mean the Come kettle on. calling the Stove black. <laughs> oh, I have it. What the yeah, fuck the cat, is this? The cat and the meat. Cat meets kettle. Someone has to know. Does nobody know? Dude, what are you, you saying? Know, you said it. Oh, you just you're said actually it. saying that it's like calling the kettle, the kettle calling the something no, black. It's something meat, something. <laughs> something meat, something. Pot meat kettle. Thank you. Oh wait, 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 wait. Pot meat kettle? Yeah. yeah. Well, that's a that's yeah yeah that's pot, a meat, shortened kettle. version pot, of the oh, idiom. It's like pot meat kettle. Yeah, I've never heard that in my life. I guess Ian is smarter than. And what was the one I was trying to say? <laughs> the pot calling the kettle black, which is the basis of the what the pot yeah. calling the kettle black. Well, we were in the tea realm. Wow, there's no. Of course, this episode is two hours long. We just, <laughs> I literally just wanted to watch a tweet and end up being like a ten minute conversation about like uh, we are literally two dumb fat fatties. I mean, let's not say dumb. <laughs> I don't know we're dumb. I'm sorry. I, I just thought fat. it was funny. I like the fat. I like the fact because I never had someone to call fat with me. Like, it's fun. I'm sorry. I just thought it was funny because, like, I, thought, yeah. I feel like we're both smart and dumb at the same time. Do you know what I mean? I think no. I think we're both skinny and fat at the same time. Like, we look good for fat people. You don't like smart and dumb at the same time? I don't think I'm dumb. No, I think you you're think really you're dumb? smart. Oh, but you're like, dumb. But, like, at the same time, you don't understand memes. Do you know what I mean? Okay, Gen Z over here. And I no. feel like I'm not, I don't feel like I'm dumb, but like sometimes I can't read and I'm dyslexic. And, oh, so you are kind and of And like I'm literally trying to say the cat, the cat meets the, like look, we just had that, like we just had a oh. debate about the cat meets the kettle black. Mine was more <laughs> like my brain is so occupied with other things that I couldn't remember. You're a genius. So- as Einstein says, why? See, here we go again. <laughs> I'm not even going to try to recall this one. He says, why? Einstein once said, why? Dan's already Googling. <laughs> why do I remember, don't remember things that I could easily look up? Let's do that one, Dan. What was he looking up back in the day? There was no encyclopedia. Like, oh, let's see. Did I hit it? Did I say, did I get something? Did I do something? Never memorize something that you can look up. Never memorize something you can look up. Albert Einstein, the smartest man that ever lived. I don't even remember I'm going to guess here. that that's, make sense. I'm thinking that that's probably a fake quote. No, it's a for real sure, quote. For okay, sure, for sure. Do, do, do its core thing. I don't think anybody Go nobody ahead. cares about Go Einstein. Ahead. Go ahead. Uh, the top answer on Quora, it seems incredibly unlikely that he did. Fuck. See, I'm an idiot. <laughs> yeah, I agree. You want to do oddly? Well, sass? you're not the first person to yeah. say that he said that, but he gets misattributed quotes yeah, all the time. Yeah, people always misquote Einstein. They're like, "Oh, Einstein was a Christian, actually, <laughs> or he was a Jew, or Einstein actually <laughs> support." You know, same so. thing with Marilyn Monroe. It's always like, like fat is beautiful, Marilyn Monroe, and it's like they always like, or people with sex always quote stuff about Marilyn Monroe, like sex is amazing, do it as much as you can, Marilyn Monroe. <laughs> like wait. they always, yeah. Oh, like uh. As uh, Abraham Lincoln is famously known as saying, death to all Jews. 
Nope. Oh. Oh. Are you sure? How do you know? <laughs> Stupid. But it's kind of fun. You can just make up quotes for anybody. Right. I. Yeah. What's a great quote? Let's see. Hmm. George Washington once said, these nuts. Sorry. That's so stupid. <sighs> okay. I think it's, I thought we we're <laughs> wrapping it up. Are we still going? Well, uh, well, we're done. We were supposed to do oddly satisfying and we ran out of time. This bad. is they so, we have week, so, we have so, we are such chatty cats. That is true. Well, that's what besties do when you don't see each other for a week. We Literally saw each other also like two days ago, but we didn't really and chat. Yesterday. We didn't really right. chat. We are such chatty cats. Thieves. What? Cathies. Cathies. Chatty Cathies. Chatty Cathies. That's you being dumb. Exactly. You won't own being a little dumb. No. A little fat, yes. A little dumb, no. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, you're gonna make me own being dumb. Yeah, I think that's more you. Okay, Mrs. <laughs> Who Invented Gravity. <laughs> I heard that somewhere else, so I that's where I, we could be like dumb and fat. Who invented gravity? I don't, said why don't, don't make me recall I said, why do greatest we, hits. Why do we need gravity? Yeah, good question, Trisha. Whatever. I was being funny. Definitely. That's my comedic energy <laughs> yeah. that I bring to this show. Yeah, I agree with that. Thanks. All right. I'm so sorry we didn't get to oddly satisfying, but you know what? Let's do tomorrow. Or, I mean, not tomorrow. tomorrow. Not tomorrow. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay. Next week, we should just do get into it. Yeah, yeah. So, if there's if there's drama that happens, maybe we do two episodes. Like, you know, if, if there's you no drama, two? we do. But if there's like, what if there's drama? What if like something crazy happens and we need to be on it? I thought what I had planned, we were going to talk about for like 30 minutes. Right, right, right. And then it ended up being like two fucking hours. And that's what happens when you have the demon, Chatty the devil caddies. hour came through and <laughs> stole it. We don't talk about demons on the show. Why are you talking? Okay. I don't like demons because it upsets you. Okay. I, I'm serious. Okay. Why does it upset you that I don't oh like talking about God. it? Oh my God, we're never ending this show. Oh, you just want to wrap it up. No, I mean, no. <sighs> thank you, thank you. With peace and love, this is a serious message to everybody watching my update right now. Peace and love. Peace and love. I want <laughs> Ringo Star. Okay. Peace and love. Thank you for watching, everybody. We'll see you next week. This is the ending now? Yes. We cut to do the ending? <laughs> what the hell? Can I say I was the original Peace and Love? Did you see that? I tweeted Peace and Love first. I did see that. Yeah, well. Thank well, you're not the, the first credit. person that ever said it, but okay. Let's so that was the ending? End. Yes, it's over. <laughs>